All right, so we are in Casino 58, I think. Um, but uh, we're about to meet this guy named Mr. House. He's the one, I guess, who totally took over the strip, I guess, and like made it to what it is today. Um, but I don't know much more about him. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Thanks, Orca. Good morning, XBS. Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. All right, let's let's go. Let's talk to him. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. It's true. I have to ask. Now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? I've never seen anything like this place. A city devoted to vice and sin, what's not to love? I prefer the wasteland, to be honest. What the hell are you? Can we get down to business? I'll just say I've never seen anything like this place. To be fair, I didn't actually, like, explore it yet, so... Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a courier. That's so true. Like, what's going on? This is weird. Nick girl, thank you for a three stream streak. Yeah, I miss having the wholesome game days, but who knows? Maybe we can bring them back. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can, like, change it up and do something different. Um, I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Victor's the robot, by the way. Um, let's get down to business then? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Okay. Simple enough. Um, what do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? He wants the platinum chip? Okay, I have a few questions before I decide. What did you wish to know? How do I get to Benny? So Benny's the guy that killed me and stole the platinum chip that I was trying to... It was the platinum chip, right? It was a platinum chip that I was trying to deliver, but I got killed and re resurrected by their robot. Hmm. It won't be easy. I'll barter, Benny though. Benny is always Don't surrounded worry. by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the tops. Oh, interesting. The chairmen are your employees. Don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal Is Benny a chairman? Affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, why can't you be the one to tell Swank? By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families oh. or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Okay, hmm. Say I want to take a diplomatic approach. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Oh man, it feels like this one could probably be taken in so many different directions. I wonder which way I'll do it. We'll see. Any ideas on how to catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the third floor I am not good at sneaking. <laughs> very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly, there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. 
What else did you want to know? Hmm. Tell me about... Oh, what is this platinum chip? What's that? It's a very that? special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. That's all I need to know? Okay. Hi, Jai. Good morning. Kylie is so Sam Fisher. Am I? Let's see. What else? Um... I have a right to know more. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. Hmm. Why don't you send your robots into the tops to arrest? Well, he just told me that. If the chip's so valuable, why use a single courier to transport? How about this one? The more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. Comp okay. If the chip's so valuable, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood oh. of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Okay, interesting. Why don't you send your robots to the top to arrest me? Frontal assaults on casinos? Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. Hmm. What else do you What? Who exactly are you? So he said he paid dearly for it. I'm guessing just in terms of caps, but like, is he a robot? I am Robert Edwin House, president, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. Oh. Uh, did I do the casino quest line with the strange folks with strange parties? I don't think so. Not yet. Well, will this talking TV go away? I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to really understand who this is, because this is a big, important character. You appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. The lifespan you're claiming is impossible, except for ghouls and super mutants. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. What? So he re So you stay alive all this time? Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. Dang it, I wanted to bring up something from the TV show, but I won't because some people probably haven't finished it yet. 
<laughs> oh, you're fine, Aquilic. I sorry, I didn't take it as a criticism. Um, white glove people. Yeah, this guy has some money. So it kind of reminds me of Andrew Ryan from Bioshock. How did you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. What else did you want to know? about Benny? Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Um, did, why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Hmm, interesting. What would, what use would you have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. Oh, that's me! Am I really on the front page? Oh, shoot. Hi! <laughs> I don't know why, but we're playing Fallout New Vegas! This is my first experience playing this game. It's really fun. <laughs> why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Oh. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. So he's the one, okay, so yeah, he's the one who's basically saved me. Okay. What else did you want to know? <laughs> All right, last thing is about the factions, and then we can get it's to business. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off oh, until the okay. platinum chip has Never been mind. recovered. What else did you want Never to mind. know? All right. As I said before, Benny's fate is yours to decide. Once you've delivered the chip, I will pay you the amount agreed upon. Let's barter. <laughs> It's a good start, but well below market price. <laughs> Very well. Five times the bonus. Not one cap more. Wow. Okay. The chip is worth far more than that. I'll just say I accept your turn. Huh? Actually, that's not a lot of caps. Let's do this one. It's worth far more than that. My offer far exceeds the original terms of your contract, which, I will remind you, already obligates you to deliver the chip. Okay, okay, all right, I'll do it. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I'll return when I have the chip. Until then. What the heck? All right. All right, I guess nice bartering skills things. I probably could have pushed them more, but it's what it it is what it is. Um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, here we go. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. 
Wait. Plenty fancy. Sweet. Wait. Oh. Oh, let's go to the presidential suite. Wait, is this my new house? High roller suite. Well, it's kind of dark in here. Upgrade? Whoa, wait, what is this place? Wait, this is my new house? Whoa, why is it so dark in here? Whoa, what? What? We're living in, a, yeah, the sweet life. <laughs> Whoa, this is my new house. Wow, it's much better than my little motel room. Wow, that's fancy. <laughs> got a kitchen. Got a little poker billiards room. What do we got here? My bedroom with my own office? Wow. I got a comforter. <laughs> Holy cow. What, what else do I have? Oh, wow, I got my own fancy bathroom. Dang. <laughs> oh, and I got a little sitting room. Oh, it's a guest room. Oh, it's for my, oh my God, it's for my companion. So, oh, cool. How do I um, bring my companions up Where here? Where to, partner? Let's go to the... Cocktail lounge? What's that? Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, this is cool. Oh, you can open. <laughs> I wonder if I if, if it's if I have a companion I don't want to bring with me, can they come here instead? Because I really want to get um, Rex, the dog. I have to fix him first, but I want to get him. I, I want him to be my companion, but... Um, I already have two companions. <laughs> I'm full. Okay, let's leave now. It's so quiet in here. We upgraded. We did. <laughs> Good morning, Madrona. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. What? Who? I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know that the New California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in a benefit, uh, beneficent beneficent mission in the Mojave in general um, and New Vegas in particular. It is in addition a wealthy nation that well rewards persons who dedicate themselves to its national interests, whether for reasons patriotic or material. Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon misconduct of this sort. I think the maximum I've ever done to the NCR is maybe stole something by accident. <laughs> I stand ready to receive you at your earliest convenience in my offices at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of the Vegas Strip. God bless the New California Republic. Okay. He just needs to see me. That was a very fancy way of come to my office. That's crazy. Um, I've got your back. All right. Um, okay, I actually haven't really explored um, the New Vegas Strip yet, though. Check that out. She just left the Lucky Thirty Eight. Damn, and she looks good to me too. What? I bet everyone's gonna hear about you going into the Thirty Eight. Wait, is it weird? Is it weird to have gone to the th man? She running. <laughs> Wait, is it weird that I went in there? Interesting. Oh, goodness. Um, should we go to Gr Gomora? Hmm. <laughs> I'm my class now. I guess so. Good day. Oh, wait. Caleb McCaffrey. Huh. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. Oh, my God. Not I forgot. Joke. This guy. 
Oh yeah, we need to kill him. Shoot, he's like right here. <laughs> Give me a share of the caps and your hat. Oh yeah, he, we just had to bring his hat back. Give me a share of the caps and your hat and you can go free. I'm here to collect McCaffrey. No one crosses the Gar Garrett twins. <laughs> no, I just thought I'd say hi. I don't want to kill him. Give me your share of the cabs and your hat and you can go free. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Uh, all I need is your hat and you're a free man. I'll tell Francine you're dead. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. Would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. I don't want to fight. And now everybody knows you uh, don't have your hat anymore. <laughs> I guess. Can I put his hat on? Can I wear it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wear it. <laughs> Imagine running into your bounty and telling him it's your job to off him. I know, right? Like, what? Piss off, kid. We've got no more business to conduct. I'm not a kid, old man. You've got a mouth on you, kid. If I weren't busy working for the Garrets, I might give you a few lessons in common courtesy. Get lost. But he's not working for the Garrets Piss anymore. off, kid. We've got no more... What do you do around here? Hunting and killing. Plain and simple. So you're a bounty hunter? Bingo. Now, if you're done asking stupid questions, I have more important things to do. Any bounty hunting tips for me? Be quick and quiet, and don't get dead. Don't get dead. Got it. Alright, well, that was... That was kind of how I expected that quest to go. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Keep holdout weapons? Uh, hand over all weapons? You'll get these back on your way out. You better. You better give them on my... Give them back. Who are you? Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Uh, what is there to do around here? Feel free to head to our club, Brimstone. Or you can see our gorgeous courtyard out behind the casino. Is this a hotel? I'm sure you have all the good dirt on what goes on around here. I sure do. But loose lips <laughs> sink ships. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I can keep your secrets. All right. You look pretty trustworthy. <laughs> Yay. Uh, what can you tell me about what's going on around this strip? I've heard some pretty shady rumors about the Ultralux. The Ultralux. I'm not sure what the deal is, but although they try to put on airs, that place is just plain creepy. Maybe it's the masks. The masks. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me? What can you tell me going on in Gamora? Gossip is one thing. Dirt on the family is something else totally. Do you have any rooms available? Sorry, we don't have any hotel rooms available right now. But feel free to gamble or help yourself to our other services. Our other services. What about the? Is there more? It's hard to believe that not too long ago, most of the families on the strip were little more than warring tribes. The Emeritus even had a big war with the Khans once upon a time. All right. Late. Um, okay. What's the we got over here? Oh, you can play blackjack? What the fuck is that thing? That's cool. What else can you do here? Uh, roulette. So roulette, slots, and blackjack. Elevators. What else? Oh, there's the bank. So is this how I get more chips if I want to gamble? Holy shit, you've been in Lucky 38. You meet the overbot. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? Okay. Awesome, that's how, man. okay, so that's the bank. Is there anything else here? What's in that room? Let's go over there. Let's play. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot how to play blackjack. <laughs> Probably could easily remember, but... 
What's in here? Oh, these are just the bathrooms? What is over here? Oh, it's down here. What is this place? What is this place? Save before I get in trouble. Who is this? Holy shit, you've been in Lucky 38. You meet the overboss. Pick the door. Hmm, it's locked. Oh, is this the lady area? The bartender. I'm wondering if there's any people I could talk to. Oh, there's that girl. <laughs> Word is, you're getting popular in the strip. Ooh, ladies! Can you hey. cheat the gambling with saves? <laughs> I'm gonna assume, yeah. Oh, okay. Can't go that way. There's gotta be something behind those doors. I don't wanna get in trouble, though. Look at the fire effects. Woo! Hot damn, do I love this place. Okay, that is also not able. <laughs> oh, okay, now I'm back here. All right. Okay, well, let's we let checked out Gamora. Let's keep checking out more of the strip. I wonder if I should go back to the garret and give the house. They're wearing clothes. <laughs> yeah, I cannot believe my homepage sometimes. What do you mean? Lucky um, okay, let's go... Here? Let's we go here. Whoa! It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? I told my wife, she's good looking for a ghoul. It's just too bad she's not a ghoul. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, lady. I'm trying to put on a show here. I just have a few questions. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly <laughs> a lucrative career enterprise here. Who are you? The name's Knight, Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi. Oi. <laughs> but we're standing on a street corner in the middle of nowhere. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point. <laughs> How long have you been doing comedy? If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. <laughs> the heck? So you're looking for your big break? Break's better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. Oh, goodbye. Sure, later. Okay, maybe I need to help him later or something. Here, let me save. Um... Yeah, same with mine, Madrona. Doesn't Twitch make some exceptions for games sometimes? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For Twitch, if you're playing, like, a very mature-rated game and there's, like, certain scenes that show up, as long as you're not focusing primarily on your content being about those scenes, then it's okay to stream them. It's always been that way. For as long as I can remember, there are some games that are probably banned. Did but... you know the strips all stirred up lately? Oh, who's this? Th these people have names, Howdy, so I talk lady. to them. How can I help you? What is make this it... song? Is this song from the game? Ugh. Oh, it is. Okay. Hold on. Okay. It was a joke, people. Quick. <laughs> damn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Oh, dang it. I 
I can't do this one. My perception's too low. You're not here. You're not from around here, are you? Darn far it is, our ranch. Ethel would be happy to yap about that. I got more important things in mind, kid. Are you a bighorn rancher? Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. I'd like... I'd like to ask you about the wasteland. I know it better than my wife's corset. What about it, kid? <laughs> I know it better than my wife's corset. How do wastelanders cope with current times? Stealing our pure breed resolve, that's how. We faced the wasteland right in the old mug and told her to shove it. Listen, we own these lands. Why am I and asking I'll be damned this? if the NCR, those Legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. Oh, Madrona, that's sweet though. Goodbye. All right, kid. Be good. Bye, Walter. Sorry, my perception's so low. Oh, this is Ethel. This is wife. If you don't mind, I have to look after my husband. Uh, what are you and he up to out here on the strip? He's got his reasons. And when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a big horn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. Heck Gunderson? What's so important about Heck Gunderson? If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. Where are you from? Oh, a good ways west of here, in a place you've never been. Far as we're concerned, only name it ever had was Phoebus Ranch. That was before we lost some land to Heck Gunderson. There. The bank demanded payment in full the day after the Stockman's Association bailed it out. Oh, okay. All right, goodbye. Heck Gunderson. Howdy. Good. I have questions okay. about you. Oh, that's it. Oh, I can't ask him about it. All right. Heck Gunderson LVB Station. What is this? Let's go in here. Vault 21? There's a vault here? Heck Gunderson, what a name. I know, right? Oh, thanks, Jacqueline. Uh, oh, is this like the police station? You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. Is this where I need to go to talk to that one guy? You know, if you were serving, you probably... I bet it feels real nice to be carrying those weapons around on the strip. That damn Mr. House has forbid any NCR military personnel from carrying any sort of firearms on the Strip. Well, except for Captain Pappas. Mr. House still doesn't trust the NCR. A word of advice. The Securitrons won't put up with any funny stuff out there, so don't do anything stupid. This your first time on the Strip? Yes. Well, it's time to pop your Vegas cherry, friend. I'm sure you'll have a blast and be drunk and capless in no time. I can give you a bit more information about the various casinos if you're not sure on where to get started. Um, sure. Tell me about the casinos. Well, there's the Lucky 38, Ultra Lux, Gamora, and the Tops. Which one do you want to know about? There's a lot. What's the deal with Ultra Lux? The Ultra Lux is the nicest casino on the Strip. Real high-end, extravagant, and expensive. Best you have a lot of caps if you want to go there. Okay, what do you know about Gamora? Gamora is the favorite of the NCR troops on the Strip. If you like girls, alcohol, gambling, and drugs, then Gamora is just the place for you. By the way, is the music too loud? Good morning, Declan, how are you? The, what is the Tops like? The Tops is the cool place to be right now. Lots of entertainment and shows going on there as well as the gambling. If you want to catch a show and have a few drinks, you should definitely hit up the Aces Theater in the Tops. The Aces Theater. Tell me about Lucky 38. Don't know much about it, to tell the truth. That's where Mr. House and his Securitrons are set up, and no one's been in there as long as people can remember. Oh, Probably that's why people that were freaking out. It. What else is there to do besides the casinos? Well, there's Vault 21 and the NCR Embassy. Both places are located on the south side of the Strip. Vault 21 is a small hotel and gift shop. It's not as nice as the casinos, but it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper. 
The NCR embassy is the headquarters for the NCR and the Music's Strip. Music's so loud. Okay. The ambassador and his offices are there as well as the MP headquarters. Okay, here, let me turn it down before I keep going. Okay, let me know if that's too quiet. Okay, he's given me a lot of good information. Probably be halfway to general by now. Goodbye. So wait, is, I think, hold on, let's see. What was the new, so the NCR, this is the NCR area, so I'm assuming this is where he'll be. I could be wrong. All right, restrooms. <laughs> Always gotta open up the doors, because why not? Oh, Eddie, you're in the way. Oh, this is a janitor closet. Is there anything up here? First recon's at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance to hold it. Camp Forlorn. Forlorn. Is it too quiet now? Like, what are they doing? Hey. Oh, this is a monorail. Take monorail to McCarran? Oh, shoot. It connects to McCarran? Oh, cool. Okay. Hello. Um, so this isn't the place I need to be, but it's okay. All right, so we checked out the station. Let's leave. Is that, it's in the strip though, but. All right, should we head to the tops? Hotel and casino? Wait, where is it? Is this the tops? Oh, I think this is the tops. Everything is so, oh, and there's the Ultra Lux. Okay, so this is the tops. Let's go in here and check it out. They're all casinos, so they probably all look hey, the same. Hey, hey, baby doll, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. We gonna gamble? We'll probably gamble in a little bit. Smooth and easy, just to... Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Oops. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly, you dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Uh, where did you take my weapons? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Right next to the money? I feel like the music is a little too quiet now. Money? It's tempting to be like, hmm, maybe I could go over there. What is there to do here? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always Let's go has to the hot Aces acts Theater. raring to go. Check it out. Goodbye. Have a good time. Hey, there's the high roller. Hey, there's the high roller. Am I the high roller? Cashier's office upstairs. Oh, this is hey, the manager. Baby, what's the They're playing. So this is the blackjack area. Do I guess they have all the same things in all the casinos? Who are these people? They're just standing around. Oh, bodyguard. What oh. in the goddamn? Let's oh, shoot, it's Benny! Move, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. That Whoa, okay. That everyone saw go in the lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I did not realize Benny was going to be right here. Oh, shoot. We've been tracking you for the whole game. Oh my god, I can't say that. That's so stupid. Mr. House wants a platinum chip handed over. Yeah, I'm sure he'll just hand it over. When you shot me, you ran off so fast, I never got your name. Um, it seems you need to work on your marksmanship. Mr. House wants a platinum chip handed over. Give me one good reason not to kill you. Okay. Uh, let's do the Black Widow. When you shot me, you ran off so fast I never got your name. You making a pass at me, sister? <laughs> because I'm out of your league. Oh, okay. Is it wrong to want a guy who'd shoot me in the head? 
Did those bullets scramble your egg? Or have you always been a naughty broad? Oh no. Oh my god, you can just keep flirting? Girls like bad boys and you've been downright awful. What is this? I'm choosing it. You're one sick pussycat, baby. There's Quinn's and then there's... I don't even know what to call you. I want him, I want him to, I, I need to get the platinum chip. I'm trying to figure out the best way I want to deal with it. Hmm. Keep in mind that I don't have any, any weapons on me anyway, so I can't kill him. <laughs> what is this game now? Well, I have a perk called the Black Widow, so that's why I'm able to do all this. What a prize you are. Not interested. I don't know. Maybe I can think I like make him think I like him and then I'll be invited to his suite and then we kill him there and take the platinum chip. I'm thinking that's how I probably will do. We'll see. I don't know if that's an option. I'm saying I dig you despite it all. What do you say? I hear dig from you, babe, and all I can think of is a shovel. How can this be? This ain't forgiveness. It's something wrong <laughs> I'm a core remember don't you want me to <laughs> oh my god what is this what is that <laughs> all right honey baby this is all kinds of wrong but to my sweet it is oh 13th floor. it worked don't keep me waiting oh my god he just straight up gave me the key Oh, did y'all see that? Oh my God, it worked. The heck? Oh my God, it worked. Wait, I need my weapons. Hold on, let's... Hold on. Hey, there's the high roller. If I leave, will I get my, my guns back? Okay, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, baby. Don't Why do you need my gun? Security, baby. Oh, and a hmm. No. Because he said that if I do, if I do happen to find a weapon, what did he say? If I, if I was able to find a weapon, <laughs> uh, then I just can keep it, but just don't show it. But how the heck am I gonna kill Benny? The elevators are all inaccessible. Um, they're all out of order. Oh wait, this is a courtyard. What am I doing? Oh, this is pretty. Hey, your mama. What's the haps? Do y'all happen to have a gun on you? Hey, there's the high roller. Hey, your mama, what's the haps? Do you think I can take it and nobody will see me take it? Ring a ding, baby. Hmm. Hey, your mama, what's the haps? Hmm. I dig this. I don't think slash. here would be a good spot, but interesting. Interesting. Hey, mama, what's the it's a knife. Hmm. The heck? Why is this? This is such a weird song. These phrases are killing me. I <laughs> know. Okay, um. Get your drink? You bet. I'm part. What can I buy here? Nuka Cola Quartz? What? That's cool. <sighs> hmm. 
I gonna get a weapon, chat? How am I gonna get a weapon? I'm not very good at pickpocketing. Can I get my stuff from upstairs, maybe? Let's see. They said it's right by the cash, so it's probably heavily secure. Oh. Ring a ding, baby. Do you have a weapon on you? You do. But my sneak is so. Oh. Oh, wait, I can't pickpocket the gun. I can only pickpocket... The case isn't the gun, it's the bullets, but what? I can't get the gun off of him? Dang it. How's it hanging? I can only take his bullets? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, oh, here's the cashier. Welcome to the tops. How can I help you? Can I have a gun? Goodbye. In Dang it. Hello. Hey, there's the high roller. If my sneak was really good, I could sneak, I could open that door and probably sneak right behind her and open and get a gun. But my sneak is very low. <laughs> oh, my lockpick's not good enough. Great. Dang it. I need to go to Benny. Hey, there's the high roller. Oh, who's this? Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Probably because it's equipped. True. What do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. What entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Maybe I could help you find some more acts for your show? Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Oh, shoot. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. I already know two people. We have that one guy that was talking to himself in the corner <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. What's his name? Knight, I think. And then there was that one guy. I think he was a ghoul. Was he a ghoul? Uh, that he was telling. Oh, shoot. Where was that? I think that was at the Garrett's or something. Oh, we'll barter. 100%. Make it 5%. You've got a deal. Ooh, a shop customer. <clears throat> All right. All right. 5% it is. All right, cool. Take it easy, baby. Got a the talent pool quest. Ring a ding, baby. Ring a ding, baby. Interesting. That I was wondering why. Okay, so that was gonna lead to a quest. That's cool. All right, what am I gonna do about Benny, man? I don't even know where his thing is. So, I, let me go see where he walked to. So he was down here. Did he go in here? Oh, it was here. Okay, hold on. Let's do a big save before we go. Maybe he happens to have a gun. Maybe he happens to have a gun there. I don't know. What? I have a key, don't I? Wait. Wait, how do I get to... Well, how do I get to his, uh... Wait, I'm confused. What? Our guys put the monorail back... Did he go in the restaurant? What 
Wait, how, do, how do I get to Benny? He gave me... What did he give me? Didn't he give me the elevator key? I'm gonna get in trouble by it. Well, it's not red. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's just there's stuff in here, I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. One of the L eight elevators works. Up lately? Okay, so maybe I can't just I can't go the way he he went, but I can go okay. Gotcha. Hmm. I was hoping maybe they have like an extra knife on them. Okay, where's the elevator that works? Inaccessible. Hi, Siberia. How are you? Oh, here we go. All right, we made it to the 13th floor. Oh, can we go? Oh, hold on. Maybe some of these rooms have a weapon I could use. Oh, look at this. Salesman Weekly. I'll take that. What's this? Take strip letter six? Wait, what is this? Dear Tracy, things have been going well for me here in Vegas. I've had pretty decent luck at the tables lately and have been able to almost break even. I'm going to hit the roulette tables again tomorrow. I'm going to win big this time. Big, real big. I can feel it. Mark. Mark and Tracy. Why does, why does it sound familiar? Was that somebody that we, we found... What, did she die? Maybe it's a different Tracy. Anyways, this was his room. Alright, let's keep looking. That was a good find. Nothing about the 13th floor sounds suspicious. Oh, of course not. <laughs> Sexy sleepwear. Should I get that? Maybe I should get that. Cause then he'll think that I'm being serious when I'm not. We're just gonna kill him. It's a must for a black widow. Here, let me let me change in here. Don't look, Eddie. Okay. There. I have my sexy sleepwear on. <laughs> Or are you gonna hide the gun? Don't worry about it. Don't you worry. <laughs> We've got plenty of places. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think there's any, there's gonna, not gonna be any weapons in any of these places, is there? Like, even just like a, maybe a plunger? I don't know, maybe there's like a, a trap or something I can set up or something, I don't know. <laughs> Very different from the vault suits. True. Oh, look at Programmer's Digest. Wow, these place, all these rooms have some not bad stuff. Hi, Raggeds, how are you doing? Sorry, Boone. Hmm. Plunger, that's a bad way to go. Oh, cherry bomb them. But would that do enough damage, though? Wait, where was that cherry bomb? Would that really do that much damage? 
Don't let it kill him. Maybe I can, if I find more. <laughs> you like my hair today? Thanks. Okay, that's... That's... I think that's Benny's. Who are these people? How's it hanging? I wonder if they've if they've hidden like weapons around. Oh, there's two bobby pins. You know what I mean? Like maybe there's like something hidden in one of these rooms. Like why else would they be going? Unless this is their room. How much damage do you think I can do with a tire iron? I feel like that's not so bad. How's it hanging? But my melee. Oh, that one require, requires a key. But my melee is really low. <laughs> it's 19. There's got to be one somewhere. I mean, technically that works, but it's still not good enough. Did I, did I get, did I check everywhere? All right. <laughs> All right, we're in Benny's house now. by me dang it they take your partner's weapons too i didn't even think about that dang it where is he what does a pre-war bonnet look like Oh, I look good. <laughs> oh, there he is. All right. The only problem is it's not, it's gonna break. <laughs> And I have one cherry bomb. <laughs> you think that's enough? <laughs> Man, there's gotta be a way to find a gun. You finish him with your with your fists? Okay. All right. Well, let's do let's do a big save before I do this. Remember, he's thinking that something's gonna happen. <laughs> Hi, Benny. Benny's oh. gonna show you the tops. I hope you're built sturdy, you crazy broad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you can just straight up do it? Oh my god, no. Good, keep your pants on. I've got questions that need answers. You fell for this trap hook, lion sinker. Oh, see, there's, I can just straight up attack him. What should I do, chant? Cherry bomb, cherry bomb, and then bludgeon him to death. Oh shoot! I should have probably put it as a hotkey. Didn't, shouldn't I? What happens if I do this? I don't want to see this. The time for talk has passed, honey baby. These mouths of ours have appointments to be elsewhere. <laughs> no, no, attack! Okay, let's try it. Let's give it a shot. You tramp. Like I needed another social disease anyhow. Attack! Oh my god, his face. <laughs> Hold on, let me get the... Let me get this. 
Okay, that's one, and then... Okay, so I should use the cherry bomb first, right? <laughs> oh, I can't hotkey this? How do I... How do I use a cherry bomb? How do I use a cherry bomb? Is it not a weapon? Oh, I guess it's not. It's just an I. Oh, it's just freaking. Never mind. I thought it was a bomb. All right, never mind. All right, tire iron it is. Aha. Oh my god, he has a gun. That's not fair. That is not fair. That is not fair. That is not fair, sir. Ow. Okay, I'm dead. Okay. Wow. Also, where were we going? Where, what is over there? Can I get over there? <laughs> Dang it, he has a freaking gun on him. I need a gun chat. I thought the cherry bomb wasn't actually a bomb. If you sleep with him, does he fall asleep after? I don't know, should we give it a shot? Ew. I'm literally gonna woohoo the guy that killed me? Benny's gonna show you. Here, hold on. You like that? Help! Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? Help! Goodbye. Help. Help. Dummy terminal inactive. Hold on. Maybe I can do something here. Oh god. Hold on! How do I turn the robot against you? Well, where am I? What is this place? Ah! No, it's a dead end! Get him, Boone! Oh wait, this actually might work. What's in here? Wait, where's my tire iron? <laughs> wait. Had enough? <laughs> Die, Vinny! Die! Oh, it worked! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! I'm taking that. Oh, I leveled. <laughs> Step back to the rescue. Holy cow! His gun's name was Maria. Okay. Well, that was a messy way to do it, but that was one way. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna woohoo him. I want this to be a hundred. I don't know if that was if that's smart, but I wanted. Well, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I should have. Okay, I'll do this one. Lock pick and uh, oh, that's all I could do. Okay, there we go. It's probably a waste, but whatever. Now my lock pick's 100, so now I can go in that other room that it was inaccessible before. Remember, I could take money in oh, sub basement. Wait, where's the gun? There it is, Maria. Bonus critical chance. Wow, this is a fancy gun. Move, boom, move. And the best part about killing him here is that he won't know. Let's take a suit. <gasps> the platinum chip, we have it. The top's presidential sweet key. We got it all. Wait, what did I, what was that? 
access codes. These are the access codes. Access codes for what? Is it for this? Check tape drive connection. Yeah, I should probably put this away. They're all broken. I was hoping that one of these was gonna turn that robot against him. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron. I'm but happy he didn't fight for yes, him. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What kind of name is that? <laughs> it's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. <clears throat> Have you seen this platinum chip before? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Huh. So I can do my own research. What was he planning on doing with the trip? Oh, do with the chip? He wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neural computational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitron. Oh. And then I guess I just do as I'm told. Got it. You're very forthcoming with this, with that information. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? <laughs> Say I wanted to take over New Vegas myself, what then? What? Do I want to do that? Then I'd have to oh, help Oh, Necro, you. don't I mean, it seems bring that up in the chat. We're still family-friendly chat, to. buddy. But hey, not my fault I can't I know say that's no. weird, but we're playing a uh, non-family-friendly game, but my chat is family-friendly. How'd it go getting on here? It's fun! I just killed Benny! Don't ask me how! I killed him with a tire iron that I found in the freaking fire hose thing. <laughs> we are! What are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38. But now I have to choose Even what I'm going to do. Rival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes so you can decide how you feel about them. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to give them the that, chip the yet. should be close to attacking Hoover Dam and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Interesting. I don't know if I have anything against Mr. House, though, because he technically was the one who saved me. So I don't know. So this is, so I have the option. I can give Mr. House the chip, just hand it over, or I could take over New Vegas myself. I don't know if there's another option option i need to know more i'm gonna hold on to the platinum chip before i do anything because i'm curious um there are a ton of endings you get to pick and choose lots in this game yeah you do benny reprogrammed a, sec a securitron all by himself oh he had some help a lady friend of his she said something about living in a fort over in freeside but that's all i remember a fort what is this place? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Aw. You said something about a bunker at the fort? Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. I'll think about it. I have to admire your prudent nature. 
Why get caught up in action, you know? And results? <laughs> Say Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've been inside the Lucky 38. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. Oh my god. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. <laughs> the other thing you're wow. going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. That was me. What do you know about the courier Benny shot? I knew she was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for her. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. What? Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip? Just in the last year alone, of course you did. Wow, that's how many caps or he spent? That there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? Wow. I'm the courier Benny shot. <laughs> I know that's not true because you still have a head. I'm serious. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> you set me up. Now you die. I have the platinum chip, remember? Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding I don't kill him. and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not, it's a, not really a very nice, nice word. word. I know, right, Lulu? Let's talk about something else. Sorry if that was getting boring. Uh, so I should ask these tribes if they'll support independent Vegas? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, Go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Oh my god. Um, hi Tanner. Good morning. Or good afternoon. Oh my. I know, right? Huh. I've got some options here. Chat. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Which tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met. Like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the Strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Cons, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Did I meet the Boomers? Let's talk about the tri- oh wait, uh, remind me what- what you said about so- no, 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 uh, if- if something happens to Mr. House, I may be in touch. I'll just say goodbye for now. See you around! Well, dang! All right. Oh, look at this. Locksmith reader. Yeah, he didn't have anything in here for me to kill him with. Oh, Salesman Weekly. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's empty. Um... I knocked a plunger over. Wait, what's that? Oh, pre-war money. I'll take it. Um, okay, let me <laughs> change my outfit. Um, and heal. I could just wear Benny's suit. Oh my god, plus five barter, plus five speech. What the heck? Um. Wait, this is better. Interesting. 
Killing him and then wearing his suit, Savage. I know, but like, look at the perks that you get for wearing his suit. <laughs> um, all right, let's save. I'm still in shock that I was actually, I actually managed to kill him. It's because he was focusing, he was focusing on Boone, which is perfect because Boone was like already like ready. <laughs> he had some good armor on everything. Um, yay! Alright, what else did I get? I got some access codes. I got... What else did I get? I got a presidential suite key. Necro! What the heck? Thank you for... Thank you so much for five gifted subs! That was sweet of you! Hope thank you! Than Benny. It's like, what does that sound? Can I open here? Why can't I open that? Where's the key to that? Huh. Anyways. Welcome, everybody. I hope you enjoy your new emotes and after viewing. Thank you, Necro. That was very kind of you. You're winning Vegas at this point. I really am. Um. Okay, so that was the elevator we took. Wait, what else did I get? There's the platinum chip. <laughs> Um, oh, there's four business cards. I literally thought that was a bomb. I feel so dumb. <laughs> Dang it. Hi, Elle. Thank you for the three stream streak. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Um... This place is the bee's knees. This place is the bee's knees. I wanted to see if the thing that I got would... Oh, there you go. Oh, see, it did unlock this. Ooh, meeting people. Is there anything else here? Oh, it's just food? <laughs> food and wine? Oh, there's a safe. Oh, there's nobody here. Wait, what is that? Not oh, nothing. Some random bottle caps on the table. Okay. Empty. Refrigerator. Ooh, tales of... Oh my god, I have so many... I don't even know how many magazines and stuff I have now, but I have a lot. Holy cow, look at this. <laughs> empty, empty. Jet. <laughs> Free war book. Okay, let's open the safe now. Okay, yeah, that was... I probably shouldn't have used tag on just the lock picking but oh well my lock picking is now 100 oh my god oh there was a submachine gun in here and grenades grenade rifle and a power fist huh Hmm. Could I have come... Maybe I could have pickpocketed Benny. Got the stuff. Got the stuff in here and then went to kill him with it. Maybe that's what I could have done. 
But he had all those bodyguards around him. I don't think that my sneak was high enough to be able to do that. Huh. But I technically could come up here and I could unlock this door. <laughs> I could unlock that door, but that girl would see me. <laughs> Should I just give it a shot? Like, why not? Just don't freak out, lady, when I come in there. Maybe you got some sneak, sneak what? M oh, magazines? Seems like I'm okay right now. Oh, I lost karma though, but that's okay. Look, these are all my guns. I'm over encumbered now though. Dang it. Okay, I don't need all of these. Oh, actually, hold on. Mm, yeah, I don't need them. I mean, I don't even need to do this anyways. I don't know why I'm doing it, but it's fun. Okay, um... I don't need this power fist. Or... When did I get that? Why am I so heavy? Hmm. Maybe it's the suit. Or maybe it's like, hmm. Let's get rid of all this stuff. There's the high roller. Yeah, maybe. Oh, the armors? Maybe. But how bad is my karma? <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this one. What's this, though? Five bottle caps? That's it? Watch this one not have anything in it. How is a lady not noticing some person behind her open the lockers? Oh, it didn't have anything in it. Why does it only have that? That's so lame. Like, look at all of these chips. Can't take them though. Okay, well. I'm done. Hi. Welcome to the tops. How can I help? <laughs> so that could have been. Enjoy your stay. If I had lock pick 100, I could have gotten all my guns that way and killed Benny that way too. I don't know. I was just seeing what was possible. All right. Nice. Got all of my stuff. It was just the wind. It was just the wind. All right, bye. The eyes of the mighty Kaisa are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Oh, I don't Many want crimes it. crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisa what? will not extend this mercy a second time. 
My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. How did you find me here? I am the greatest of Kaisar's frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you. Nor is this my first visit to the Strip. What does he want to s Why does he want to see me? Go to him. Should and we go to him and kill him? Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor Lucullus will be waiting. The blah, 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 blah. Wait, that's all I can... Oh, I'm over encumbered. Dang it! Dang you! Wait, was that mark really that heavy? Wait, what? What did I pick up that was so heavy? Did... Oh, it doesn't weigh anything. Uh, why am I so heavy? What did I... <laughs> what did I put... What did I... Is it this? Oh, I got my... Oh, I got the guns back. That's why. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there, have some guns, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. What the heck? What do I do now? Who's this guy? Oh, it's toss for Okay, hold on. There's one guy I want to recruit. There's that one quest I got. Actually, speaking of quests, let's look at all the ones we got. We got this one. Um, kill or disable Mr. House. If I want to go that route. I don't have to if I don't want to. They're all called wild card. Side bets. Make contact with the Brotherhood Steel. Visit the White Glove Society at the Ultralux Casino. Optional. Tell Yes Man that you visited Gamora and wish to ignore the Omertas. Go to Red Rock Canyon and make contact with Great Cons. Uh, make contact with the Boomers at Nellis AFB. Okay. Or I could just do this. But I only get, what, 1,250 caps for turning this in, which is nothing. You got the Vault 22 key. It's an actual vault. When did I get that? Did I, when did the, yeah, when did I get that? <laughs> when did I get that? It's a real vault. That's like, why is this song a part of the Fallout New Vegas radio? Um, it's on the strip. Yeah, I know. I know. I think it's like yeah. Right. Oh wait, that's twenty one. Vault twenty two. Oh, vault twenty two is over there. Do y'all mean Vault 21? Or, yeah, that just says hotel, so... <laughs> Maybe not. Alright, hold on one second. Hello. I have... Decisions to make. Let me give my card to this guy. Because this guy wants to be a performer. You again. You should meet my bookie. You have something in common. Every time I talk to you, I lose caps. On, oh yeah, sorry, mix those up. Both are real vaults. Vault 22 and 21. Okay. What do y'all mean by real vaults? Real vaults, like an actual vault, and it's still like functioning. All right. The Tommy Torini at the tops is hiring entertainers. I could put in a word for you. Yeah. Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Don't sell yourself short. You're worth a lot more than that. Whoa, geez, what was I thinking? You're right. I had to go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. There you go. So they said that if I send people over there that I get money. Okay, well that was one. I'm trying to remember where the other one was. It was a ghoul. But where were they? Uh, 
Oh, it was at the Garrett's. Oh, it was at the Garrett's. So I need to go there anyways, because I have... Um, I have another quest to turn in. I have this debt collector one to turn in. So, maybe I should go there real quick and we'll come back. Um, something to explore? Yeah. <laughs> I still have a lot to explore. Like, I haven't gone into Lux. I haven't gone into Vault 21. I haven't gone to many places. But before I do that, I'm gonna just quickly go and turn this quest in. Hi, Zay! How are you doing? Hope y'all are all having a good day. Oh, wait. There you go, free side. Hope y'all are having a good Monday. Okay, there's Rouse. Watch out! Watch out! Let's kill this guy! What the heck? The King's gang member was helping me? That was nice. Thanks, bro. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The King says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Crispy squirrel bits? <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what the heck? Um, I forgot where I need to go. Not that way. I don't think that way. This way. Yeah, we have to go in here. <laughs> the heck? Uh, I think there's also unmarked locations on the map. Oh, wait, is this not the door? Oh, no. This isn't it. I'm getting turned around. Where am I going? Okay, maybe I was supposed to follow that guy. Yep, I was. Okay. Yummy! Yeah, I have so much more to explore. Like, the game... The game... I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm gonna finish the game if I give Mr. House the platinum chip. You know what I mean? Like, if I wanted to beat the game, I, I technically could if I just gave him... You know? But I don't want to. Not if yet. Bought, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Nick and Ralph. We're gonna keep playing the game more before we make that decision. Um, let's. Lasers, plasma, hmm. pistols, Hold on one second. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. Okay, alright, let's, um, what is this song? I hate country. Um, I hate country. Someone dead. Really dead. Where is Stop by the, silver the Wrangler? We'll give you I think the this means. is where I need to go. I don't know, it's, it says Fallout New Vegas Radio. And then some of these songs, I'm like, why are they, what are they doing? And I don't remember hearing this one. I promise you won't yet, but I definitely advocate hey. for continuing to explore the whole map. Okay. All right, let's turn this in. So, Benny's dead, huh? That shifty son of a bitch had it coming. Wait, how does she know that? Yes! Where's his hat? Right here. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward... Here's 150 caps. That's it? I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Wow, I have so many places now I can live. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Cool. <laughs> I feel kind of awkward because technically I didn't kill him. <laughs> um... It... Oh, this guy! Here we go, here we go. Let's give him the business card. Well, if it isn't my number one fan... Adrian. What can I do for you, number one fan? Tommy Turney's hiring new acts at the top to think you can make the good money. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. I could talk to Garrett and try to convince him to let you go. Huh. <laughs> good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. 
He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Let's yeah, try. go on. Scram. <clears throat> Ma'am, do you know how <laughs> what we had to go through? We didn't actually have to go through a lot, but yes, still. Did you know about the sleepwear? I'm surprised he knew about they already know about Benny. Slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that, that lonesome little weasel eat it. News gets around quick. Oh, shoot. Well, hopefully I'm not going to be the one to blame. Wait, that probably means that Mr. House knows too, then. He's probably, what the heck's taking her so long giving me the platinum chip? I'm surprised he hasn't sent his Securitrons or whatever out to get me. <laughs> I'd like to get Hadrian out of his contract. Now, why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. How about, he's not the right fit for this place. You'll find better performers. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Nice. That was easy. Yep. What is my favorite moment of the game so far? Like, maybe the thing this that sticks out the most of all the side quests that I've done? Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I love I love mainly just doing the side quests. There was one side quest I really liked at what was it Navarro? No, not Navarro. Novak. Um I don't know. I don't know what's my favorite though. But I do like this game a lot. Everyone knows Benny's Oh, he definitely knows. Oh shoot. Any luck with Garrett yet? Also, I took a pretty long break in between from when I first played to now so now some of the side quests are hard for me to remember <clears throat> Garrett's agreed to let you out of your contract you can go work at the tops really you mean I'm finally out of this shithole that's great thank you uh, prick Benny had you're welcome all right I have to go find more entertainers but I don't think I know anymore hey I don't think I've met anymore okay let's go back to the strip and let's go keep exploring the woman at Novak do you mean oh my god that was a good one you're right for Boone oh my god yeah that was probably that was probably the one I liked the most at Novak <laughs> I want to learn more about the other companions, but I but I don't have them yet. I was hoping that he was gonna like me enough so that I can get his other quest, but it's taking a long time. It's taking a while. I don't know. I also like just stumbling upon things. The one with um, what is that person? Who is that? There were like the super mutant area. I wish I did that one better, but that one was pretty fun too. Do we ever find Make out what pardon. happened to Boone's but wife? Could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? What are you wearing? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna change this radio because I don't like this radio. Um. The. Sorry, one second, chat. One second. I, I still don't understand how I'm on the front page of Twitch. Like, what the heck? Okay. Got it. Wait, isn't that the... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, well, that's one thing I think the most memorable time that I remember, or my favorite time, is after I completed most of the things in the game and I was about to do the final mission, so I completely wiped out every other faction that I wasn't sided with, with Boone and Rex. Oh, you have Rex! See, I want to get Rex! 
That's my that's my goal. So wait, you killed everybody? <laughs> wait, did did I technically do the final mission? Killing Vinny? Or is that not the final mission? My favorite part was when that guy got released from the gam from gambling and I followed him and he died to scorpions. <laughs> what? Why Glove Society is so freaky? Yeah, they are. One second. Oh, okay. Got it. I always thought that that icon FN meant that it would just repeat the same song over and over. Okay, I think I got it fixed now. No more weird random songs that doesn't fit the Fallout vibe. You're nowhere near close to the end. Oh. Oh, the guy from Novak. <laughs> uh, okay, here, you can have my guns. That's my fine. deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. These guys are but weird we looking. We can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Oh, I see. Thanks, Evan. Goodbye. Adieu. So I have to figure out if I like these guys. Trying to elevate your status. Learn about the society by talking to one of its it leaders. Work. All right. Well, who hey. is? Oh, look! There's Heck Beg Gunderson. Pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? No. <sighs> Ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. H Ain't got one boy. Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. You lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Hmm. There's... This is the guy who basically took the land from that other guy, though. But maybe we don't have all the full details. Hmm. Yeah, to get Rex, I, I have to go to um, Jacobstown. And I have that on my map. So I have to go to Jacobstown. That was like my next thing to do to get Rex. But Jacob sounds a little far away from where I am, so I was just gonna stay around the area and and eventually go out that way. But wait, go! Thanks for the eight three months. Should I help him find his son? Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Hmm. Maybe what business did you have here at the hotel? You can see like why he's why he was here. Maybe. Let's try it. That's between me and the White Glove Society. Oh, but let's okay. just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. Oh, but that ain't okay. as welcome as you might think. Got it. Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success, might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. But what about the other couple? They were so mad about at this guy. I don't know. I don't think that... Well, let's, we'll find out. Let me help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, Heck. I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. Beyond There'd the be beef. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't... You can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Hmm. 
you say something about a white glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones, some of them got masks, too. Real hard. I don't talk to none. Okay. So you're a rancher? Yep. Got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Used to just have the one ranch, but land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Oh, is it wonky? Okay, sorry. Um, let me fix it. Interesting. He doesn't sound like, um, he doesn't sound like a bad guy, so I wonder why, um, that cup, why, hmm. I, to be honest, I can't remember what that couple even said. I think they said that they that he stole land from them, but it doesn't sound like he stole it. Maybe he bought it and they're just mad. I don't know. There's more information I gotta dig up, but I'll f help him find. I'll help him find his um son before we do anything. Um. Okay. Mm, that should have fixed it. Let me know if it. Oh wait, I didn't play the music. Let me know if this fixed it. it should have fixed it. Thank you. <clears throat> Goodbye. Whoa. <laughs> Good friend. Hello. Get Ted back to his father if he is still alive. Ask around the ultra looks for information. I love the mass. It's like being at a fancy ball. How do you fare? Welcome to Top Shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour, but they draw twice the attention, too. Goodbye. I don't want to buy stuff. Is there any reason why you buy all this alcohol? Is there anybody I can talk to? I've heard you have to make reservations at the I love the masks. In advance. It's like being at a fancy Do you ball. know where his son is? I love the masks. Do it's like you know where the son is? Trying to elevate your status by being seen with me? It won't work. Here's the cashier. Do you think the cashier knows? Humbly at your service. No. Oh, who, who is this? Oh, just a <laughs> gambler? Okay. Um, maybe she knows? No. Those masks make me nervous. Is there something wrong with their faces? Mortimer. How may I be of service, madam? Ooh, this guy seems like he knows some stuff. Do you have any work that needs to be done? Uh, what can you tell me about your organization? How about that? My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. Wait, he's not wearing the a mask. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course. But our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. And that's what the White Glove Society is all about. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a snooty. What is that? Um, there's a TikTok like sound pop that's popular that's going around. <laughs> um, if anybody feels the same way about this, but the music and vibe that all the Fallout games gives off is such a I, it does it does, and that's why I really, I love it. I love the music. It plays into the game even more. I like that they they decided this no, kind of music would be fitting. No, not from the likes fitting. of you, I'm afraid. It's great. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. Okay, bye. Indeed. Fine, I don't want to help you anyways. Oh, who's this guy? Chauncey. Okay, I'm uh, looking for someone. Oh, well, it's a big hotel. You should talk to Marjorie. She's in charge and she can probably help you find anyone you might Marjorie. need. Marjorie. She usually works at the front of the gourmand. She likes to see how people respond to it. Gourmand? You can get to the gourmand from the lobby here. It's a big set of double doors on the first floor of the eastern side. Can't miss it. 
This guy sounds really nice. Why is everyone around here dressed up and wearing masks? Those are all members of the White Glove Society. Our founder Marjorie gave us all a dress code. There's only one rule to it. In her words, we must dress in such a way that no one can be said to have dressed better than us. As for the masks, I'm not allowed to tell you. We're sworn to secrecy. Actually, that's not true. That's just what we're supposed to say. I think Marjorie likes them for the mystery they create and the way they make it clear that we're different from everyone else. But you didn't hear that from me. Where's your mask? Mm, must have forgotten to put it on. How embarrassing. Goodbye. Fair that guy's really nice. That was helpful. Where did he say? I don't know where he said. Tell me about double doors. Oh, that's a penthouse. I can go there. Oh, that scared me. I can go there. if I want to go in there yet. Um, I don't know where he said to go. This is the hotel room. Member only section. Interesting. I don't know. We still have to find his son. And all I remember that he said about his son is that he's wearing a cowboy hat. Bathhouse. Whoa. Why is nobody in the bath? Okay, what's over here? Oh, those are the hotel rooms. Snooty. Fancy pants, Rich McGee over here. Yeah, that. <laughs> that. <laughs> that. That reminds me of this. Oh, here it is. The gourmand. Hello. Oh, Hi. this is her. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Do you work here? I do, but one Dumb can hardly question. call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. I have to choose if I like them. I mean, I guess there's nothing bad about being a snooty pants, right? As long as they're not hurting anyone. I don't know. What do y'all feel about these people? The masks are really creepy, but they're just masks. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. Investigator. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the charter. What? That's not a, what I was asking. What the heck? The White Glove Society, you see human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. That's okay. I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm excited for Friday. I'll be streaming the Summer Game Fest on Friday. So it'll be fun. Um, wait, didn't we hear something about... Wasn't there a rumor that we heard that people... I wonder if that was the same story I'm thinking of. And if it was about these people. I don't know. <laughs> Should I lie? <laughs> don't worry. Um, Hank Gunderson says he's here to talk business with you. What business? What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. 
He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. But a delicacy is just that, delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or a family restaurant. <laughs> so as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. Oh, so they're trying to make it harder to... Mm, okay. I know, right? <laughs> uh, who did you talk? Who did you talk to about this? The disappearance. There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride to be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off, and that young groom just didn't have a clue. The poor dear. I'm investing in someone else, a man, and he just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Is there any way I can talk to the investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our maitre d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. I don't know. I don't... I don't trust... I don't know. Like, the first thing when they were talking about cannibal, that's not what I was thinking of at all. Should I save this? That's okay. I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. You disgust oh, me. Dang. How dare you say such a filthy thing in my establishment? <laughs> I ought to have you arrested. <laughs> You'll kindly mind your dang tongue it. or we shan't speak any further. I don't know. Ta ta. Okay, well, they didn't like me very much. But that's okay. Um, <laughs> I wanted to see. <laughs> oh, neutral. Oh my god, look at their photo. Okay, anyways. Um, alright. Let's, uh, figure out where the heck this investigator is. Our executive chef, Philippe, is the toast of New Vegas. His Brahmin um, Wellington is absolutely sublime. Oh, traveler. I'm in heaven. I haven't had a meal like this in, well, ever, really. It looks like steak. Wait, that's crispy. That's crispy squirrel bits. Um, who else can I talk to? How do you feel? Oh, food supplier. You look positively famished. We simply can't have that. You want? Hmm. Bye. Farewell. Do you think I can go in the kitchen? We need to find the investigator. How about we come back here in a little bit and explore the kitchen? Um, I want to go talk to the investigator and see maybe if he got some really interesting. Our guys put the monorail back to work information about that girl that got cold feet no i think maybe they really are eating people hi whirly gambler. Uh -huh. gambler oh i'm just gonna come on in here hopefully y'all don't mind hi <laughs> Are you sleeping? Oh, time to wake up. <laughs> oh. There are a lot of rumors going around about the White Glove Society. I heard they used to be tribals. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I think it's because I... Is it because I pressed the E and then I moved... 
Yeah, okay, that's I've right. Heard you have to make reservations at the... <laughs> I didn't know that's what happens when they come and talk to you. Um, oh, man, where is this investigator? Man, it's crazy that I can just walk into people's rooms. <laughs> like, ooh, what have got going on over here? Oh, this guy maybe? Nope. Oh. Bon vivant suite requires key. Hmm. Okay. So maybe that's the room for the investigator. Oh, there's another room that requires a key. Hmm. Let's find um Chance Chauncey? Chancey? I don't know where he is. He's the one who Good day. Or maybe it was How may I be of service, madam? May, uh, Marjorie said you gave a free room to a private investigator. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Hmm, should I lie? Hmm. <laughs> The ultra looks eating people sounds like a sus rumor. We're gonna figure it out, Whirly. It might be true, and then that's the biggest problem. Um, I'm on an investigation. Probably it's not lie. Let's not lie. Um, I'm hoping we can help each other. You are. Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. I've heard your group dies on human flesh. Indeed. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. I oh didn't God, say it. Well, what the heck? Um, wait, where? It's the penthouse. Wait, how did I get there? Wait, shoot. I think it's this way. Wait, where did he say that his room was directly above? Oh, here's Chauncey. Good day. Never mind. Hmm. Weird behavior. So it's one floor up. Um, hip, hip. Evening. Here? Ah, here. Oh. <gasps> He's dead! He's dead! Matchbook? <gasps> Somebody killed the investigator! What is the matchbook? The following is scrawled across the back of the matchbook. Steam room, 4 p.m. Oh! Ah! What? Run from me. Wait, why? Why? Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god, oh my god, I don't have any weapons. Oh my god, I did not know this was gonna happen. Get him! Freaking... You like that? I don't have my tire iron. Oh my god. I am not doing like any damage. My melee is horrible. Shoot. Get him, Boone. Get him, Boone. Where's Eddie? You like that. Too bad that guy didn't have a weapon on him. Is there a freaking weapon anywhere? Shoot, man. Man, Boone is a freaking tank. No. Now I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, Chad. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Frickin' I wanna die. Ow. Come on. Maybe I should have gone Ella. and lockpicked and got a gun. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Oh my god. Ow. Get him. Get him. He's almost dead. I wanna, maybe I should just die. Grab a chair or something. Man, I would love for that. Come on. Okay, maybe Come on. I should just let them kill me and restart. 
How the heck? Ah, my head! Well, shoot. <laughs> Uh, all right. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to go find a weapon now. <laughs> I don't think there was a weapon in, oh, I guess I didn't make a good look around, but I mean, I was being attacked like crazy. All right, well, um, let's go find a weapon. Or we can go get my weapons back. Who took your weapons? Every time you go into a casino, they take your weapons from you because they don't want people walking around with weapons. So I could go here in the penthouse. We could go here, but I don't know what's in here. So let's just, let's see. I know, I lost karma. Big whoop. Okay, what's in here? Oh, here's a hammer. Oh, lunchbox. Can I use the hammer as a weapon? Or is the hammer only a tool? Oh, it is, dang it. Dang. Okay, dang it, there was nothing good in here. Good day. Okay. Farewell. Bye. <laughs> uh, I wanna go in the pit house. Here is Nikar, you could skip certain weapons in the casinos. My sneak is definitely really low. Is there anybody in here? Okay, we're just looking for a weapon. So maybe we'll find one. Even if it's just like a blunt, it's okay. It's better than nothing. Or maybe I could literally just, what the hell? What the, why is the seeds, what? Why are there random seeds here? <laughs> I'm gonna take those. Actually, no, I'm not. Okay, is there anybody in here? Oh, shoot. There is. There's a guy right there. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, there's there's too many people in here. Let's leave. Dang it. I was really hoping to look around. I don't, okay. Those people have guns, so we're not going to take them on. But I can always come back there, la come back there later. Uh, all right. Uh, let's... Okay, this is a casino. Usually, they have my guns in here so let's see if we can get my guns let's see if we can just go in here like that other place i'll be shunned oh dang it okay all right <laughs> Um, hmm. How the heck am I supposed to get gun, guy? Maybe I could try this again, but I'd just be really quiet. Because last time at the tops, I was able to sneak in. I think this is a solution, so we're gonna have to figure out something else. Ah! 
Our guys put the monorail back to work. Hmm. Oops, I didn't mean to take that book. <sighs> if I was a weapon, where would I be? How about let's go in the kitchen? Maybe there's a knife in the kitchen. Where was the kitchen again? I think it was here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do some drugs. And do some bigger damage I could. Man, them, their business must not be doing pretty good if their cash registers are empty. All right, let's go. Hey. I don't, can I even go in here? This is gonna be a little awkward. Flamethrower, I guess that's how they cook the meat. Well, it looks like they serve. Well, it looks like they serve the cow. That's not a human, is it? No, it's a cow. Got a knife, guys. It's about a break, though. <laughs> Open elevator to kitchen. Okay, before we do that, let's go down here. What's down here? <laughs> I got a knife! Okay, oh. elevate. Oh wait, that's this. Oh! You. Wait. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to be sneaky. Oh, I guess I can be down here. They're, they're just letting me walk down here, so maybe it's okay. Nothing to hide down here? Inaccessible. I don't know, there's probably something I'm gonna find down here. It's gonna be pretty bad. We'll find out. We have to find his son. Are we trying to find like a little boy here or are we finding like an older man? I think it's a man. All I know is that he has a white cowboy hat. Nothing weird about what's in the oven. Oh, here's another knife. My karma's really low, but... Oh, here's another knife. Okay, 
Okay, I repaired it. Okay, we're ready. We have a knife ready. No human flesh yet, chat. <laughs> oh. Seems like we're okay. I'm just looking. Hi. Philippe? Uh, why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. Oh. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't make eye contact with me. Look at the floor and get back to work. Yes, sir. <laughs> he has me confused for someone. Ooh, locked room, you say? Yes, sir. I'm gonna... Yes, sir. Pantry, deep freeze, kitchen, storage, corp. Clizzy is the next one. Engage lock. Clearance granted. Wait, what? Did I just disengage lock? What am I doing? Sorry, sir. I'm just... He doesn't know who I am, chat. This is perfect. What's over here? Call head waiter. Is that the head waiter over there? Somebody been playing chess in here off duty. Okay, we're gonna go in there. I just wanna check, double check. If there's anything out. Oh, there's the stairs. What's that? Oh, that's the elevator. Okay. All right. Let's go in here and check. If I didn't lie, if I didn't lie, he probably would have kicked me out, so. Oh, here we go. Power. Rumor? Ooh, rumor's close. Rumor's close. Armor? Yeah. Armor. Disengage lock. What's behind door number one? Oh. Wait. It's Ted Gunderson. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. Wait, why was he? Why is he here? Calm, attack, I'm sure. What the heck? Calm down, I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? My daddy? God damn it, I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? I don't know. They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. Some of members of the White Glove side they were going to eat you. What? Lie? There's no time to explain. We have to go now. All right, fine. I'm right behind you. Oh, shoot. We freaking found where he was, but... Oh, dang. I wanted to solve this, I think, a different way. Are you gonna... Are you following you get me? back here with our dinner. Take him out. Oh, shoot! Hold on! I have a knife. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Come on! He has a bigger Can't knife. Run from me. Don't you dare run away, you little pansy. Come back. Come back here. Philippe? Philippe! Oh, I don't know if this is the way I wanted to go. I wanted to figure out... Hold on, chat. Before we say Ted Gunderson, I take it back. We're gonna hold that thought. I want to figure out what happens in the steam room at 4 p.m. before we do this. And then there's one other area that we haven't unlocked. Dang it, there's so many ways to do this. And I there's I always want to do it in one specific way. Oh, here it is. I wanted to go in here.
I've got one. I've got one. See, they're all after me. <laughs> Dang it. Come on. Get him, get him, Boone! <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> They're all after him. Alright, hold on. Um, is this where I wanted to go? No. This one. You broke in and now people are angry. Um, I know. But there is no other way to get in, right? Hi, MPJ. Thank you. I mean, right? There's no way to get in. I have the key, but if I, if, even if I'm hidden, hmm, maybe I need to have an outfit then. Hold on, is there an outfit I can take? With a mask, you know? Dang it. I wanted to go in there and I wanted to hear them like say that they're eating people, darn it. Yeah, but my stealth is really low. Darn it. There's gotta be, there's gotta be some place that I haven't gone. But I couldn't like beat this guy up and, oh. Well that's another weapon I could take, but I want his, I want his outfit. Or I want, like, a fancy outfit. Man, imagine if I killed one of these guys and got this weapon. And their outfit. A stealth boy is useful. Wait, what is this? Wait, didn't, shouldn't this be open since this is the way I came? Did I not come that way? It's one way to barbecue meat. No, this is this. <laughs> it is one way to barbecue meat. I'm happy you don't get in trouble for just looking at pickpocketing them, you know? Philippe's recipes. Ultra Lux freezer key. Oh, Greetings. shoot. Where's this freezer? Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. <laughs> Wait, freezer key? Oh, maybe it's the key for this. That's probably what it is. Hold on, he's he's detecting me, but we gotta gotta make him not detect me, and then we're gonna go look at his recipes. <laughs> Dang it! Well, wait. If I do this and go in here and then hide, maybe he won't see me. Okay, let's look at his recipe. This is a stack of handwritten recipes, obviously experimental with many sections crossed out and notes scribbled in the margins. The one that seems to have gone through the most revisions is called sweet veal. However, those indicate a desire to make it taste not like veal, but human flesh. It 
interesting. The heck? <laughs> what in the world? Um. Okay, I definitely don't like this society. Now that it's like, well, I mean, I guess it was already 100% proven, but it wasn't proven the way I wanted it to be. How may I assist? There. Hmm. But now my problem is, how do I get Ted Gunderson out safely without a weapon? I need a weapon. Also, I really want to get, I really want to go in here, but in, if I did, so I'll immediately be shunned. See, then they're always, they're on, eh. Hmm. Hi, Boiler. Does anybody know of a way I can go in there without being attacked? Don't I have to get on their good side? How the heck do I leave? How do I get out of here, man? Dang it. Gosh darn it. Kill the guard would probably do it. Yeah, but then everybody would attack. Try to walk out the front door, and when they ask you hand over weapons, you can try to slip something past them. Okay, why don't we give it a shot? Let's try. Why does it say pick this lock? It should already be open. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and try. <laughs> we need to keep at least one weapon. You can get on their good side by talking to them. Yeah, but there's nothing else to talk to them about. How may I be of service, madam? Because if I go to the investigator's room, then they immediately you know the start attacking me. Up lately? And I tried to be stealthy and get my weapons here, but it didn't work. Didn't work. Oh, hold on. I have an idea. You watch yourself around, Mr. Gunderson. Well, we should tell him. Tell me good news. We could have him help us somehow. Okay, let's leave and then come back. Okay, I have all my weapons again. My stealth might be too low to keep holdout weapons. Wait, why am I over encumbered? Oh well, it's fine. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Keep hold out weapon. Sure, here you go. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapon. Please. Wait, did, so wait, did he... Wait, did it work? Oh, no. I have my knife. <laughs> Dang it! I should have leveled up stealth, not lockpick. Um, I mean, I still have my knife. You know what? Let's let's see. Let's see if I can do this. I th I think I can do it. I I was able to kill Benny with a freaking pipe. Hello. So and he had a he had a gun, and these guys don't even have a gun. <laughs> How may I be of service, madam? I really want to say this, but I won't. Yeah, we got, we got, we got a knife and a dream. 
Wait, we need to not go that way. All right, let's attack the two guys that attack me when I go in the investigator's room. Let's see. Yeah, exactly, we could loot a cane. Okay, this is it. Okay, let's do a big save before we go in. <laughs> okay. There we go, matchbook. And then, see, there we go. <laughs> we read steam room 4 p.m. See, there's no other weapons in here, are there? Yeah, there's not. Wait, who is shooting? Oh. Oh, shoot, Eddie, you could have killed him this whole time? What? Eddie, where were you earlier then? Oh, I'm taking his whole outfit. Get him, Boone! There we go. We got him. I'm taking this too. Okay. Hopefully nobody saw that. Can I, can you, can I drag their body? No, I don't think I can. All right, yes. Oh my God, and this is perfect. Cause then I can wear, I can wear, I can wear the stuff. Look. Oh, <gasps> faction armor disguise you as a member of that faction. Members of that faction now consider you a Friend, while enemies of that faction will attack you on sight regardless of your personal faction relation with them. Oh my god. Yes! Stealthy! Ooh. Stealthy! Alright, now, okay, what did it say? Steam? Steam room 4. We needed to do that, guys. Steam room 4 p.m. So, we need to go find the steam room. All right, let's go find the steam room. Am I guessing it's by, it's around the bat, it's not here. Where's the steam room? Oh, maybe over here. Oh my God, I didn't realize faction armor actually changes everything. <laughs> oh, hold X or Z, but maybe it's okay. Okay, this looks like a steam room. Oh, here we go. Steam room. Okay, 4 p.m. Okay, let's save. 4 p.m. steam room. Okay, so let's sit on the bench. And let's wait until 4 p.m. Oh my goodness, we're gonna wait a little while. It might, I don't know if it's exact, so I might have to wait a little bit longer. Oops. Almost. Wait a little bit before. Three, okay. All right, so it's 319, we gotta wait until 4 p.m. So let's just sit here and stake it out. Something's happening at 4 p.m. Yeah, we're just, yeah, our skin's gonna be great. <laughs> Play the song of double time. Okay, it's 3.33. This quest is fun. I, oh. oh, it's Chauncey. Chauncey. Who are you? Meet with the investigator's contact. Just someone who found a matchbook? Maybe I should say you first? Hold on, you first. You don't know? Oh, good, that's good. So they didn't send you after me? No. Where's the gentleman <gasps> I'm supposed to meet? Oh, here we go. He's dead. 
Oh my goodness me. I knew Chauncey was good. They must know he was, was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Wait, who? Wait, what? What were you supposed to discuss here? The girl. The one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Oh. Well, how do you know what happened to the girl? Because I distracted her fiance while they took her. <gasps> well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. Oh. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the white gloves began meeting privately a while back. Started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and oh. there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So is Mortimer behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the So, old but ways. it's not They've taken that many lady. people over the last few months. But always from Freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists <gasps> here on the Strip, even in the hotel. Tell. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Wow, what about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. They're trying to keep him fresh. Ew! Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. What? Oh my god! Mortimer is the bad one. So it's not, what is her name, Marjorie? It's not her behind this. It's Mortimer. How mortifying. <laughs> Um, where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything you do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Perhaps if you were to gain some more notoriety on the strip, we could get you in. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy. Well, we already stole the outfit. Out. So that's how we would get in. But that's, man, that's a harder way, getting notoriety and doing all of that to get this quest done. Like, wow, that's a lot. Um, any suggestions how to get Ted out? Ted's father's wealthy man with his resources. It should be easy to stop. Hey, let's do this. Ted's father is a wealthy man. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. <gasps> And that's what Lately, happened! He's attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. Oh my god! He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. See, I told you guys Het Gunderson was bad. But he's still... Oh shoot, man. Now I feel so complicated. This is... But I don't think anybody deserves to be eaten. Philippe is one of the most hateable characters ever. But wait, he barely speaks, though. He's just a chef. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> no one deserves to be eaten. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. I don't, but it'd be. It'd Wait, how do I get out of this conversation? Any decision on how to get him out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. 
Maybe it's as simple as drugging him. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining <gasps> to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. I took it. Oh my god! Wait! Okay. What? Some people deserve to be eaten? <laughs> oh my god. Hi, Dragon! Thanks for the 29 months! Hi! I don't think Ted deserves to be eaten. Whoa! Oh my god! Wait, that's such a brilliant plan! Because he'll think that they're eating Ted, but he, they're not. And then Ted stays alive, and then we can rat out Mortimer. That sounds like a great idea. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? <gasps> oh, no! No, not Chauncey! No! I'm baking in there for a little bit. We'll we'll figure this out after. Uh see this is a recipe. Shoot man. Wow, this quest is really well done. Alright. We don't need to do that. We're not gonna try this one. Drug the wine, but if we drug the wine. Everybody would fall asleep. Get rid of Philippe and cook for the banquet using his recipe for human flesh. See, I think that's what we'll do. But we're just gonna use regular meat. Okay. That's, I think that's how we'll handle it. Now I have a silenced pistol. <laughs> ha ha. All right. Man, I feel so bad for Chauncey. <laughs> yeah, ain't no way. Um, okay, so let's go back to the kitchen. Wait, what was the... Oh. Man, they need to do some cleanup. There's a... Wine got spilled like crazy. I don't think this is necessary, but... There. <laughs> Bless me. All right. <coughs> Clean up on aisle four, exactly. All right, let's go back to the kitchens. <laughs> Thanks, Madonna. <laughs> we have been focusing. Thank you, guys. So it's Mortimer. How may I be of service, man? This is the guy. This is it. Goodbye. Indeed. But I'm dressed up like one of them. So I don't think I have to be sponsored. I think, I think I'm good. So we need to go in here. This game is so awesome. Yes, it is. I am kind of mad that I found Ted already, but I'm happy I didn't just try to brute force it. This is a better, <laughs> this is better. 
Am I still, am I still? Okay, yeah. Why do I have to keep lockpicking this? I already lockpicked it once. Stop losing, well, you know what? Good, I'm glad I'm losing karma. These people are not good people. They tricked me though, Marjorie tricked me. Wait, no, Marjorie's not a part of this. It's just Mortimer that is. Infected ramen meat. Are they all infected? Okay, well. All right, here we go. So now I'm, I'm, I'm stealthy. We have to go after Philippe. But hold on, before we go, before we do that though, let me just go in, there, they, there he is. Let me go here and just double check that everything is good and that I don't have to be sponsored. Let's see, because the room is like right over here. Let me save before going in. Okay, see, there we go. Okay, there. This is what I needed to have done. This is perfect. Look, they're all here and they're all Greetings. waiting. Look, see, they're all waiting for their meal. Oh, goodness. This is perfect. Okay, all right. Let's go, let's go find Philippe. Okay, good. Wait, what's in here? Oh, nothing. Life at the top is immensely satisfying. Okay, she's the bouncer. She's she's ready. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Ultralux casino floor. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go find Philippe. All right, Philippe. <laughs> Marjorie is innocent in this. She's just too naive. I know, she is. Poor girl. So naive. Okay, hold on. Let's sneak over here. Sorry, Boone. Boone, would you... All right, Philippe. So we can easily kill him. We have a silenced pistol. Let's save before. Actually, hold on. Guess it was nothing. Whoa, whoa, karma. Oh Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, I did get infamy, but it's okay. They don't know who I am. We're taking all of this. Okay, so how should I go about doing this now? Okay, so we already have his recipe. <laughs> I love that I'm the one that's vilified. Okay, so wait, how do I, how do I do this? How do I cook? How do I do this quest? Get rid of Philippe and cook. How do I cook? Cook for the banquet using his recipe for human flesh. But how? Yeah, oh no, the cannibals hate me. Oh, here. Cook. Here we go. Everything necessary to cook a meal is here at your disposal, as long as Philippe isn't there to stop you. He's dead. Survival of 75 or higher required to improvise a meal using no recipe? But I have the recipe. Intelligence of six or higher. Recipe required to cook following the recipe. Okay, I have high enough intelligence. Cook imitation human flesh using recipe. 
Imitation! It's like imitation crab meat, but imita- Oh my god. Here, we did it. We, we did it. Do we do it? Is that it? There, we got it. Use the intercom to call in the head waiter. Okay, should I keep Ted? I think I should keep Ted where he is. How may I assist? Time to serve the meal. At once. There it is. Okay. Now what? What now what? Do I have to wait? Is he going to oh, There he there he is. There he is. There he is, guys. He's bringing the imitation human flesh. There he got it. He's got he's got it. All right. Okay, Boone, move out of his way or not. Okay, he's going now. All right. Okay, he's leaving. So now I think what I should do is get Ted and have him follow me. Okay. All right, My dad Ted. is gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. <laughs> Calm down. I've come to get you out of here. My dad. I love how you can attack God him. God damn it! Like, I almost died in here. What the hell took I mean, you so I guess, long? Cause Just one damn hotel. Technically, Who his did dad this to is me a butthole anyway? too. But... They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. Some members of the White Glove Society, they were going to eat you. What in the Sam hell? <laughs> eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm out of here and my daddy knows the story, you can bet there ain't gonna be no white hat society no more. Maybe I should have told him. The White Glove Society isn't to blame, just Mortimer and a few others. To hell with that. You've seen those freaks. Uh -oh. They dress the same, talk the same. You can bet they all eat the same too. They deserve what my daddy's gonna have coming for them. Um, that's awkward. I could always leave you here if you aren't going to listen. All right, all right. But there's going to be some justice one way or another. <laughs> okay, there we I'll go. I'll see to that. <laughs> Let's go. I'll be right behind you. Okay, all right. Bring Ted to the members only section. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I could just lock you in here if you're not going to listen. Do I need to, like, give him... Come on, move it. Okay, no, okay. Alright, come on, sir. Oh. Hey, hold on, we gotta wait. This guy's walking really slow. Classic little boy riding daddy's money and coattails. For real. He still doesn't deserve to be eaten, but... Okay, here we go. Gotta, gotta be... Be careful. Okay, let's save before we go in. I know I'm not the scheduled speaker, but I have a few words, if I may. There was a time, not so long ago, when we were bound together not as members, but as family, as a clan. And when Mr. House came to us with his... Actually, hold on. Let me pause the music real quick. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Proposal. We accept it. Knowing we stood to gain much. Little did we know how much we'd lose in the process. As a society, we've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. But we are living a lie. There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted it. All of you have coveted it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unified our I wish there showed subtitles. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. Oh, 
shoot. There you go. But he never said human flesh. He just said that. Or you weren't supposed to eat. We're here. He's alive. He's alive. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. Where's Majory? He's, he's alive. Do I have to talk to him? What the? Who is this trespasser? Loudly. Bad news, Mortimer. No one's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. What are you? Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Sorry, Mortimer. I see your recipe. It isn't human, though. I can tell you that. No. These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. Uh -oh. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. Oh, too late, Mortimer. You already said too much. You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. I'll begin anew. <gasps> the White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. Oh, no. Is he running away? Are you kidding? No! Come back here! No! Come back here! Where is he? Wait, no! Should I shoot him? Over here! Oh, oops, sorry. Oh god, am I gonna be attacked now? Get him! Oh. Okay, hold on. Actually, let me... <laughs> I think I messed up. I had my gun out, and then <laughs> they all started attacking me. So actually, hold on. Hold that thought. Hold hold that thought. Darn it, I have to do this again? Okay, well, my bad. I know I'm not the scheduled speaker, but I have a few words, if I may. How do I make him talk there was faster? A time, not so long ago, when we were bound together, not as much. Oh look, now it shows the subtitles. Oh, I had to get time. closer. And when Mr. House came to us with his proposal, should I attack him? Accepted, knowing we stood to gain much, little did we know how much we'd lose in the process. I don't want him to run as away society, and then keep freaking the finest food and drink the keep world eating people. Offer. But we are living a lie. There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted it. All of you have coveted it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unified our people. <laughs> Tonight, really? <that> changes, <laughs> Maybe my calling is to be a chef after let all. Me finish, Marjorie. He you is too dangerous to let run away. But you are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, I'm gonna say right for before. the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. Alright, there we go. Oh. What? My game crashed! What? I saved though. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? I haven't had a crash in a very long time. That's weird. I have a mod that prevents crashes. I guess I can't prevent all crashes. <laughs> With timing. <laughs> it's okay. I hit I hit save right right before. So maybe it's okay. The game crashing to save Mortimer. <laughs> there. It kept it. A good long time between crashes. It really was. What the? Who is this trespasser? Loudly. Bad news. Where no one's eating the boys. What are you? Under. Oh. Hold on one second, guys. I hear somebody knocking. Hold on. Sorry.
sorry, it's just maintenance. Okay, um, you all heard his confession. The punishment for cannibalism is death. Should I say this one? There was another option. If I do this one, I think we should do this one. Yeah, I want to attack this guy. I ain't going to let this guy live. What is this nonsense? No! You all heard his confession of punishment for cannibals is death! So be it. But we are all cannibals here. My death will be a constant reminder. We're and not! You will all but wait, we're not all cannibals. Nobody, nobody ate anything. Wait, are they attacking me too? Oh wait, everybody's attacking him. Oh shoot, it's not just me. Nice! Yeah. Greetings. We did it. Move yourself from my side at once. What? Good job, everybody. Wow, he has all the keys. I'm taking them all and his hat. Wow, we did it. What do you need? Goodbye. Pleasure. Is there anybody else that we could talk to to be like, you didn't eat human? See, this is the food they ate. Imitation strange pi meat pie. <laughs> but, oh, there's Marjorie. Come on, move it. Oh, oh my. How unfortunate. And in front of all these people, too. He always was a bit of a pill, Mortimer. He was so pouty when I decided to ban eating people. And now this. I should have paid more attention to the warning signs. Can you imagine what people would have said? Oh my goodness. Why, it would have been a complete scandal if it weren't for you. Okay, goodbye. Ta-ta. Um, interesting. Hello there. That was a very weird way to put all that that just happened, but okay. We're a wild card. Yeah, we're a wild card. All right, I need to get out of here and let's go return Ted to his dad. <laughs> so we are not watching people eating other people? No, they're not eating other people. I I was the chef. I was the chef instead of Philippe. So they were just eating regular meat. Think they did think that they were eating human meat, but uh, they were wrong. It was not true. Where oh there you are. Um, anyways, wait, does that mean that the, the white society is good now? I'm assuming that's the case. But I don't know if I, I still don't really like how Madjorie said, said that. Alright, here you go. Put the monorail back to work. Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. Quit your hollering. I'm fine. Are they going to talk to each other? Oh, I have to talk to him? You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Oh, I already killed them. Um, oh my god, you can blame the White Glove Society. It was more for one of the White Gloves who had Ted taken. He's a cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control Maybe the I food. Maybe lied. Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. That's just what they'd want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other? Huh. Thanks, Tank. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's not be hasty. You don't have to punish the entire strip. I don't know. Let's do this one. <laughs> You'd be driving the city to eat each other. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. 500? Holy cow. I'm accepted. But he's still a really bad person. I don't really like that I helped him, but I like that his son isn't eaten. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Shut up. You done right by me. I appreciate it. You know, if you knew what you were doing, I could have been out of there hours ago. Well, you're welcome. Personally, I don't think capital punishment would be fair in this instance. Few bad apples doesn't poison a whole bunch. Well, especially Madri, she she just didn't do a good job to make sure everything was okay. She was not a very good manager. Um interesting yeah this game is so good though that was so fun that was a fun quest she's a bad leader yeah um wow okay that was cool so nice i still don't know i know i need to go i need to go eat lunch now that did not make me have an appetite though <laughs> It did not make me have an appetite. Um, if I... But hold on. Before I go and do all that. Do I not get... Do I not get like a quest to... Should I go tell that one guy where he Gunderson is now? Now that I know. Oh, I am still dressed as a member. Oops, I don't want to be dressed as, as a member. Forgot I have that. I don't wear a tuxedo hat though. Fancy. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Hello. We just finished freaking fun as heck quest about cannibalism. I'm over encumbered. Darn it. Um, what can I, what can I drop? You know what I'm going to need to do? I'm going to need to go into my, my house and drop off a few stuff. But wait, now my house, I have a cool house that's on the strip. So maybe I should just do, go there. I don't know. I don't need the formal wear. Or that. I don't, you know, I don't think I need the society thing anymore either. What's up, Storm? The light is really work for you today. Oh, is it? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we back. Lunch was great. Just chicken. Just had chicken and a, some cheese, string cheese. That's it. Mm. I want to keep Vinny's suit though. You know what? It's probably all the miscellaneous stuff that I have that's unnecessary. Or maybe it's this. Uh, I don't need. Well, dang it. They don't weigh anything. Oh, what is this? Oh, shoot. These weigh a lot. Let me just take all of those. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Holy cow. All right, I got rid of all that. All right. Um, Let's go to the old guy that was on the strip. I forgot where he was sitting. Him and his wife. Probably could have sold all that. 
but oh well. Wait, where were they sitting? I swear they were sitting. Maybe they're sitting back here. Maybe they're over here. But they were talking about the heck Gunderson guy, and I wanted to tell him I found him. Where is, where is he? I remember where I'm sitting. Was he in like the casinos? With his wife? I am having a great Monday. We were on the front page of Twitch, which was weird. Oh wait, this is where they were sitting. Oh, but they're gone. Hello. They're gone, chat. They're gone. Dang it! I wanted to tell him that I found, I found Heck Gunderson, but I helped him find his stupid kid. I'm so mad at that man. He's such a bad person. <laughs> But we helped him. I don't know. Alright, let's keep looking around. We haven't looked around in this area yet. No human meat though, right? No. <laughs> I like the way we handled it. Granted, it's I always do these quests and I feel like I do them backwards. Because I'll find something that I'm not supposed to find yet or know about. And it kind of ruins it, but it was still a lot of fun, you know? Like, they don't really have, like, you should do point A, point B, point C first, right? All right, wait, this is Vault 21, isn't it? Bingo night! Tarot reading! Hello, Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. What kinds of things you sell at gift shop? Vault hotel? Was it like this before the war? No, silly. Of course it wasn't always a hotel. I grew up in it. I love it. My favorite place in the world. Not that I know much of the world. I never left this place, come to think of it. But it is the most special vault ever. So it's a vault, but it's a hotel? Interesting. What is so special about this vault? My vault is pure New Vegas. Everyone has a chance, and Lady Luck smiles if you play your odds right. Okay, it was like that before we had to leave. Vault 21 had very smart ways leave. to help people get along. All arguments and fights got solved through gambling. Gambling? I'll give you a quick tour of my home. Oh yeah, if you like. What? Sure, I'd like that. Rightio, daddy-o. Let's do it. Rightio, daddy-o. Right, please follow me. We'll head into the vault right away. Oh, cool. So it just lets me in the vault? Like, no big deal? Okay. Cool! We're going into Vault 21. Does it look This bunker protects dangerous. the entrance to the vault. Solid stone outside and thick steel on the inside. Hey. Keep going. I jumped on her. I didn't mean to, but I don't know how else to jump, walk downstairs. Snow stabber in the back? No! I could. I think I still have my knife. She just lets me walk up in here like it's no big deal. Is it because I'm wearing a vault outfit? Maybe not. Hello. Pretty, um, empty. Where's all the people? Above us, there's a control center for this level of the vault's life support systems, electric grid, radioactive shields, and all that jazz. Don't get lost. My vault has many corridors and rooms, although it is no longer symmetrical after Mr. House threw us out. Oh, Mr. House threw him out? Hello. Good time to pickpocket. You are right. Why does she, why does she have sexy sleepwear in her inventory? <laughs> well, Sarah. Hmm. But she has um, dresser key and a room passcode and she also has 300 bottle caps on her. That's a lot. 
Where is everybody? This is the main game hall. Here we settled the big disputes among the vault's levels. Chosen representatives gambled against each other here. The winner earned the right to settle the dispute as wished by the collective. Okay. That's an interesting we way. Have such parties in this diner. A bitch to clean later, but well worth it. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Should I steal from her, chat? Should I take all of her stuff? This hall leads to our guest rooms. That's nice. Thief. Dang it! She found, she got it. <laughs> Thief! Oh, dang it, she didn't. Okay, oh well. <laughs> My stealth is so low. That's why I'm gonna start Hello. leveling up from now on is stealth, I think. Maybe. Down there is the game room. Each side of the vault had one, but the other is filled with concrete now. Okay, that wraps it up. I'll see you soon. Wait, that's it? Good to see you again. I'd like to ask you some questions. All right, what would you like to know? You said it wasn't always a hotel? No, silly, of course it wasn't always a hotel. What, did, uh, what does Mr. House have to do with Vault 21? Mr. House has everything to do with Vault 21. He tried to get us out before he filled it with concrete. I almost went ape. So we convinced him. Okay, Sheldon and I, right? We convinced him to leave the top level mostly intact. Why did he fill a vault with concrete? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want anybody sneaking around down there. My vault runs deep and wide. It's filled with corridors and rooms that go far. What gives him the right to screw us with the royal shaft anyway? So he saved New Vegas. Woohoo! Now scram and let us go on with our lives. Sheesh. Interesting. Um, I have other questions. Are you the owner of this hotel and shop? Well, it is my vault, all right. I mean, yeah, that is, no. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. You run this place then? Yeah, and you gotta dig what I did with it. Looking as good as it should? Almost. Do you miss the old days in the vault? It was bustling with activity. We all knew each other so well. You see, the vault kept us all even. It's all symmetry and windows down there. We solved any quarrels through gambling. Lady Luck cast no eyeballs, you know? So, nobody shafted anyone else. Yeah, I miss those days. Do you know Doc Mitchell? Mitch? You mean Mole Butt? Mole Butt? I hadn't thought about that name in a long time. I was just a child and he had a big mole in his rear bumper. You understand, kids and all that. Everyone knows about each other in a vault. There's no other way. I hope Mole, I mean Mitch, is doing well. Is it Nancy? Kind of looks like a Nancy. Um, her name's Sarah, apparently. How did she know that there was a mole on his butt? Do you get a lot of business? Sure. The place is packed. Usually. We get loads of NCR cubes these days. A stray Brahmin baron once in a while, and recently circled couples shining big rocks on their fingers. Okay, goodbye. Uh, interesting. I wonder why... I wonder why... You can't just take that. Dang it, but I can. Wait, did she take it back from me? Oh, she's already caught me. <laughs> I was just curious. All right, um, I won't steal from her. Um, I wonder why he filled everything with concrete. Maybe just so there was no back areas or something? Please select from the following menu. Services. Dinner menu. I clicked too fast, darn it. Dinner menu. Uh, sugar bombs, real corn flour pancakes, iguana sausages. No, we only cook female iguanas. What the heck? 
Aw, thanks, Storm. Thanks for the $5. That was sweet. Thank you. Appreciate you. Your wife will stop asking for a clam chowder. Okay, so that's the food. Wait, what was the dinner menu? Ramen sirloin with on blue bighorn cheese. Dang. The food sounds good. Gift catalog. Pre-war toasters. Convenience. Wow, they have everything in this hotel. It's pretty nice. History of Vault 21. Paradise of Equality. Uh, it is common knowledge that some vaults were built and organized with motives that went beyond their function as safeguards. Uh, of our last great hope, the hope that humanity would survive even the worst catastrophe imaginable, nuclear war. Vault 21 was one of these experimental vaults. In the spirit of Las Vegas, our vault was built and organized around gambling. Everything you see here follows... The idea that humans can coexist and organize their lives based on the principle that skill is the only factor that should tip the blind balance held by Lady Luck. We embody the perfect equilibrium between self-reliance and social equality. Each level of Vault 21 was symmetrical and transparent. Each room looked exactly like the next, and every gambling place was built in plain sight so that no person would have advantage over another. Thanks to this, quarrels in our society were solved from an equal starting ground, the best one, just like our American dream promised so long ago. After 200 years of living in harmony, we finally awoke to the nature of the outside world when Mr. House, in his able wisdom, resurrected our lost city as New, as new Vegas. Okay, opening to a new world. Seven years ago, Mr. House rebuilt and organized the great city of New Vegas. Vault 21 rests in the middle of the strip, and it was inevitable that it would become part of the city's bright future. Mr. House contacted our community and offered us to participate in the resurgence of New Vegas. That's not what happened. Or maybe it, no, that's not what that's not what Sarah said. Or kinda, I guess. I don't know. Most Vault 21 dwellers refused the offer. Life was comfortable, safe, and fruitful. We had grown so accustomed to the benefits of our isolated society that we could not conceive leaving it behind for an unknown future teetering on a precarious balance. Still, there was some among us who disagreed with the prevailing wisdom. They challenged on House, on Mr. House's behalf, each of the vault level's representatives that supported continuing our isolation. According to the custom, a game would be set up where the winner would decide the course of the community's future. A game of blackjack was scheduled and held in that very level of Vault 21. After many hours of grueling struggle, Mr. House's supporters won in an extremely risky and fateful gambit. They decided to open up the doors to the outside world. I wonder if he cheated. The rest upheld our system and remained true to their promise to abide by the victor's decision. After almost 200 years within Vault 21's halls, we released the seals of the ancient doors we opened to a new world. Okay, so basically Mr. House won in a gamble. <laughs> Uh, let's see, tribute. Mr. House was the help, with the help of the families, had transformed the mostly unharmed ruins of Las Vegas into a paradise. It resembled a city that we remembered thanks to the stories and items that our forefathers told and secured in Vault 21 after the cataclysm. We were all struck and cautious at, at once. Slowly we left the confines of the vault and settled within New Vegas, aiding in its reconstruction. Vault 21, a giant complex of functioning machinery, became a great source of materials with which to rebuild New Vegas. Oh. Mr. Hub stripped the vault and filled its empty husk with concrete, only leaving behind part of the vault's top level. This section is where you now find hospice and where the warmth of our ancient home remains alive for all to enjoy. We have come to recognize the wisdom of Mr. House in forging a new and brighter future. For our, for all generations of New Vegas inhabitants, it sounds so fake. Mail messaging messages. Pay up and try again. Thank you. Sent. Is that it? Okay. All right. Interesting. I want to see these rooms that were covered in concrete so clean here she did good 
Um. Oh. This is locked. Let's open it. How many bobby pins do I have? 25? I'm gonna need to buy some more later. Is there anybody in here? Why was this locked? Oh, it's Sarah's room. Oh, okay. Interesting. She has 30 bottle caps in there. What is this? Oh, snow globe. I found a snow globe. Okay, this is, oops. This is locked. Okay. I want to know her terminal. Okay. All right, let's look at her terminal. Oh, let's unlock it. Button. Nope. Mmm, random? I never understood this puzzle. You didn't? To be honest, it's not that bad. Maybe... Victim? No. Um, pretty much you just have to find the correct word and you're basically given hints. And you can also technically remove wrong words as well as reset your try. Um, but you have to find, like, these things. Where they have, like, a stop and an in. There we go. My allowance has been refreshed. Alright, let's try. We tried button, random, and victim. What about mental? What about taste? There we go. I know, I love the sounds of it, too. Alright, Sarah, her mail. Her messages. Let's look through her mail. New message from Sheldon. Hey, little sis. How are you holding up? I miss you so much, Sarah. This place makes me want to run back to our home every single day. I just had to write you so that I could feel a bit warmer. The war the warehouse's cold air weighs on me as he heavily as the concrete that Mr. House dumped in our vault. Dang it. B is so... Yeah, I imagine that you did not expect that outburst from your cool bro, but I am reaching the end of the corridor here. Emptiness is my muse. Doubt is my only mistress. Everything that once inspired my art slowly drifts back into nothingness, into an unfathomable void where neither I find light nor its radiance searches for the spring of my soul. Bah, don't I sound pathetic? I do not wish to worry you, little sis. I just wish that I could be there with you right now. Perhaps once I find my strength again, once I finish the latest suggestion for Mr. House, I'll venture into the strip and visit you. My thoughts are with you, hot, with you, hot-headed roadster. Oh, I wonder where Sheldon is. Our influential friends. Dear Miss Weindrop, this is Charlene Tan writing to say thank you for the great experience we had at your hotel. I can't wait to tell you or to tell my inner circle. As you recall, my husband Biff is a very respected and influential man in our wealthy community. Miss Schott, Ingrid Dinger, and Lady Boofden will soon come for tea to our estate and I will direct them your way. They will love the quaint and rustic feel of your cramped underground hole. Tres chic. <laughs> Even Biff still talks about his new favorite ranging garb. The leather from my Vault 21 suit contains the scent of unwashed ages. He says to all of our visitors, but we won't let them try it on for one minute, dear. With most certainty, Miss Tan. <laughs> okay. What about scent? Hey, you. What's shaking, my cool bro? You'll be happy to know that our vault is packed and coasting along. Even with those legionnaires' bad news, legionnaires' bad news, 
We still get plenty of NCR squares down here. They are all chirpy and don't appear to mind that Kaisar is cruising for a bruising all over the place. Maybe the NCR is stronger than we thought? Uh, don't know. Uh, don't know. You think we can trust them over Mr. House? I still feel all clutched over when uh, what he did to our home. I mean, yeah, it is good that we got to keep part of our vault, but I can't shake the thought that one of these days he'll just push me out into the open. Once he does not... Once he does not need us anymore. I tell you, we should have never accepted his challenge. That shucksters cheated us, I am sure. Anyway, you've heard all of that before, and I just wanted to bring you a smile. Cheer up, Buttercup. I miss you. Aw. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Um. Who are those people? Okay. All right. Let's also look in her dresser because why not we're so close why does she have so many vault jumpsuits should I take her money I'm gonna take it. I know I lost some karma, but I'm gonna take it. What is she gonna do with it? All right, well, that's Sarah's place. Is there anything else here? This vault's kind of convoluted. Is there anything to do in this vault? Oh God, there's a downstairs. Oh, but this is all concrete, you're right. I'm guessing the next vault that I can really do is vault. There's a vault three that I didn't go into, and there's also a vault 22. But that vault 22 is a little bit farther away. Oh, there's people here. Guest terminal, oh that's it. Hello, people. They're just taking a little, a little sleep. Is there anything here? What's that? Strip letter one? Wait, I got strip letter six. Wait, I've gotten these before. See? Dear Edna, lost all our money at the casino. Send more ASAP. We'll get it, we'll get it all back. Trust me. Lenny. <laughs> okay, Lenny. Oh, okay. I'm getting turned around. Okay. We went that way. I guess they're all, these are all, um, oh. <laughs> these are all, uh, hotel rooms. Billy, don't be mad, but I lost all our savings at the tops last night. It's not my fault. I was on a hot streak and was up to 2,000 caps. But then I had a run of bad luck and lost it all. I'm going to go see if I can scrounge up a few caps and try to get it all back. Please don't hate me. Sue. Oh, God, Sue. What did you do? What did you do, Sue? Oh, right. I'm going in a circle. It's not a bad idea to turn everything into all the rooms to a hotel. It makes sense. What about what's this way? Inaccessible. Hmm. hmm. Nothing in there? Open vending machine. Guess I can't go in there. Who's this? Carlito? Hey, Scram, come bug me when I'm at the diner. 
You're a real pain in the ass. Okay. Good riddance. Jeez. Can't see very well. Oh, there we go. At the diner. Where's the diner? <laughs> I guess he worked at the diner. Is this the diner? Oh. Why do I have to lose karma for stealing these? Hey mom, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that I didn't lose all, the, all my money on the silly gambling games as you call them. The bad news is that I lost all my money on one of the girls at Grimora. You would have liked her though. She was a real classy lady. Well, since there's nothing left for me here and I'm all out of caps, I'll be heading home soon. Love you, Dennis. Good job, Dennis. I don't think there's anything good to take from this place. Except Sarah's room. Where the heck is the diner? The diner? No, this is the inaccessible. Okay, okay. Um... Carlitos. Is there a quest here, chat? Do y'all know? Is this the diner? No, no, no. Wait, this looks like the diner. This is the diner. Cause look at all the, yeah, these are the diner. This is the diner. Hmm. Anything? Oh, 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 what's that? Nothing. It's just sealed with concrete. Dang, house. What did you, why did you do this? Okay, and then, yeah, this is where... Oh, wait a second. Didn't she say there was, like, an area that had, like, all of their... I don't know, security and stuff? I swear that's something that she said. How can I get access to that? Right, this is Sarah. I'm going in a circle. Here, let's stay up here. How, can we... Oh, you know what? What if they had cameras and we could see that he was a cheater? That Mr. House cheated somehow. Hmm. I don't, I don't know if you can do that. Who's laughing? Huh. Huh. How do I get to that big room? I want to go back to that big room. I can just jump down, right? Whee! Okay. Is there a way to get... <laughs> what is with the laughing? It's like creepy, creepy ambiance. There's no, not even anybody there. He didn't care to have all the extra space as vaults are large, so he's hiding something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. It's possible. Or maybe that there was a way from to get from this vault to the... Also, I am lost. Um, maybe there was a way to get from this vault to like his casino, maybe? And then that's why he, I don't know, filled all the gaps or filled all the holes. I'm going in a circle. I'm lost. Sarah, I'm lost in your vault. How do I get out? How do you get out of this place? Oh no. I should have paid attention on how I got in in the first place, but I didn't. Oh God, we're, we're gonna die down here. Gonna die down here forever. Maybe this is the story. 
Oh, I think I'm going the right way now. This looks promising. Nope, that's concrete. <laughs> no! Where the heck is the exit? These are all rooms. Wait, is this the first room that I went in? Boone, help me find the, the way to get out of here. Oh no, can I just, maybe I can fast travel out. Maybe that would be easier. Let me do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna do, oh, never mind. I, I can't fast travel out of here. Well, shucks. <laughs> Does anybody know how to get out of this darn vault? Oh. No, I don't think that's the way. I, I'm lost in here. Oh, oh. oh did, did I go in here? Oh yeah, that was this place. Did we like walk through a room to get, to get out? No. Oh no. <laughs> Dang it, Sarah. I should have just followed you out. Why didn't I follow you out? No, this is the way to the concrete, isn't it? I'm going in circles, chat. Well, this is annoying. <laughs> I need to look up, maybe, oh, here. What am I doing? There's a local map. Yes. There's the exit. How do I get there? Okay, this is it. This is the map. This is what I needed to do the entire time, but I forgot that there's a local map. Thank God for the local map. There's this room, and then we gotta go this way. I think. No, I think we can go like this way. Up the stairs? Up here? Oh, maybe. Uh, not quite. What? Wait, what? Okay, here. What about here? No, this is all... How do I get there? Ouch. Okay, no, not that way. Not that way. <laughs> okay, this is a big room. Okay, from where? Here. This way? Wow, is it that easy? The heck? How did I get so turned around? Is there anything up here? Am I gonna get lost again? Oh. Oh, wait. Ooh. Wait. Ooh. Ooh! What's here? Ooh, what did we, what did we stumble upon here? This is the control room. Vault security, access denied, system override, house mainframe, vault life support, access denied, vault access control, access denied, all right. 
Okay. Interesting. There's nothing we can do here. There's nothing we can do here. Dang it. Access denied, chat. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well. I found the exit, so let's take it before I get lost again. Oh. Sarah. Oh my god, thank god, I never want to go in there again. Okay. Alright. What does she sell at the gift shop? Is it anything good? Is there anything here that... Oh. Good to see you again. What kind of things do you sell at the gift shop? I have all sorts of things. Bald suit. Can you show me what you got? Oh, okay. I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What about? Do you actually have any vault gear? Okay, I do, but all the popular stuff has been sold. Leather suits are good times. I'll help you out. You would? That would help me a lot. Also bring your boomer suit. All right, consider it done. Boomer suits. Thank you so much. So I have to You're get an angel. her stuff. I can't wait to see you again. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what quest did I get? Wait, it didn't give it to me. Good to see you again. I have vault gear for you. Oh shoot. What does she do with the vault gear though? Let's see what you have for Take sale. There we go. This is better. I don't want to give her any of my suits. Um. Eh. Technically, I could go steal the suits that are in her uh, wardrobe and sell them back to her. I want. There's something I wanted to n know about you. I. You've never actually left this place. Sure, I have. I made the scene in the strip. It's just that I really like it here. Vault Twenty One is a kick. Something doesn't add up, Sarah. That can't be all. Dang it, my perception. I have. Mm, no. Why can't I activate it? Oh, my science, it has to be a skill of 100? Jeez. Okay, well, I guess I'm done with Vault 21. Lame. I feel like there was more, there's more to it than that, but oh well. What is this? Michelangelo's. <laughs> Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Oh, uh, wait, how do you, how do I get into, oh, Michelangelo's. <laughs> Workshop. Okay. What is here? Hello, Kate. Hi. What can I do for you? What is this place? You saw our front sign, didn't you? This is where all the beautiful signs of the strip become a reality. It all comes from Michelangelo's imagination. We do a little work here and there, too, sure, but he's the real artist. I want a quest. Who is Michelangelo? He's the reason the strip shines like a star <laughs> at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. Where can I find Michelangelo? Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. Tell me about Michelangelo. He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. How long have you worked here? I've been here over a year now. Though I'm not one to get tired for long. I plan to roam the wasteland once I'm ready. The people need light and kindness. There's too much fear and pain out there already. Goodbye. Bye. I like her. Hi, Professor. How are you? Hello. All right, let's go talk to Michelangelo. He makes signs. So maybe, wait, maybe he's back here? Oh. No. Where is the dude? Oh, maybe in here? Ooh. 
Ooh. Steel schematics billboard. Oh, are you Mike? Oh, your assistant. The heck is Michelangelo? Man? Are you in here? I could steal the schematics. I wonder if there was a quest to steal the schematics. Where the heck is he? Where's the assistant? Oh, maybe back back here. Oh, there he is. Oh. He's from Vault Twenty One. I'm Michelangelo. How can I? Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. Oh. Oh, I could lie. Why are you so jittery about Mr. House? Because spending myself to the edge of artistic oblivion for Mr. House sums up my existence since I had to leave Vault 21. That's oh. why. What's your story? Well, I... Uh, not much, really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true and its works caught Mr. House's attention. That's how I ended up in this place. Oh. That's kind of sad. It sounds as if you don't like this place. What's wrong with it? I feel haunted by something terrible. Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. So is this fear of the outside world draining your inspiration? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. A... A gomorphophobia? I'll help. What? Why don't you pack up and return to Vault 21? Wouldn't that be great? No, Mr. House filled it with concrete. Only a few rooms and halls remain. My sister was able to turn them into a hotel. Oh! This is her brother! Oh! Oh, I thought his name... Oh, his name isn't Michelangelo. His name is... I forgot his name, but it wasn't Michelangelo. You lived in Vault 21. Tell me about it. Most people don't uh, understand oh, what it means to grow up in a vault. Its corridors, its walls, radiate a warmth that feels safe, honest. But here, everything is huge and threatening. And so empty that I think one of these days I'll just snap. Do you know Doc Mitchell? You mean Mitch? Oh, it's been ages since I've heard the name. My sister and I used to Is call him Mitch? Mole Oh my god, I totally Don't forgot ask. about... That was a long time ago. Before we exchanged the warmth of our home for the thin air of the wasteland. Hold on. The quest that we did where we had to send the ghouls to outer space. I totally forgot about that quest. That was one of my favorite side quests too. <laughs> Is that Mitch? Is that the same guy from that quest that they're talking about? Because yeah, didn't Mitch say that he was from one of the vaults? Or maybe that's a different Mitch, I don't know. Um, hi, Strazzy. Hello. All right, goodbye. Oh, all right. So, um, bye. Wait, I wanted to help him. Oh, what do you want? What are you eating? Um, tell me about yourself again. I am Sheldon from Vault oh, 21. Oh, Sheldon. Although here I go by my artistic name, Michael Angelo. <laughs> oh, what do you want? What about the medis medical thing? How Most do I get back don't, that? Uh, understand. Oh, shoot. I have 52 out of 55. I wonder if I have something that would help me. Let's see. I have a lot of magazines, so maybe I have something that would do it. Oh, it would be under aid, wouldn't it? See if I have something. This one's lockpick plus twenty. The speech plus twenty. Guns plus twenty. Look how many I have. I have three of those. 
Explosions plus 20. Science plus 20. Oh. Unarmed increased by 4. That was just a book. Barter plus 20. Tales of Junktown Jerky Bender. Barter. Oh. oh, med plus 20. Here we go. I can do this one. Here, let me save before I do that, though. There. There. Now my medicine oh, is higher. Here we go. Medicine. You exhibit clear symptoms of acute agophobia. Phobia. I can help. Ah, an educated fellow. Is that true? Now that is almost as rare as artistry. So, how can you help me regain my inspiration? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Several years of psychoanalysis and a few thousand caps a month will fix you. Wow, what? I know this guy in Freeside, really good at trep... trep nation you'd be amazed how who is he talking about or who am i talking about grow a pair and go out to the real world to find your inspiration i could escort you into the wasteland it's not so bad wait can he be wait wait can he be a companion is that a fear of public places or something like that um, probably. Maybe that is what that is. Trepanation. Who is the guy in Freeside that we're referring to? I can escort you into the wasteland. It's not so bad. Thank you for the offer, but I think I really can't go to see... Wait a minute. I know. I don't have to necessarily be there to see it. Screw it, hand over the caps of drop dead. Jeez. What do you mean? Yes, yes, that's it. I have a camera. It is old, but it should work. Perhaps you could bring me images of inspiring landmarks. Wait, what? <laughs> Why is so... This is so mean. Is that what that means, Mr. Grimm? Oh my god. That's grim. I'll help you. Do you have any landmarks in mind? I've always wanted to see the dinosaur and its thermometer <gasps> sign at Novak. Then there's the famous Bison Steve sign. The McCarran Airfield and the Helios One Power Station signs are of much interest to my work. Like the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters bottle. Okay, I'll return with the photos. Thank you. I don't know how. I really they... can't thank you enough for this. Please, get me all the pictures. I'll compensate you accordingly. Okay. Oh, and if you need more camera film, then just come back and I'll get it for you. Again, thank can you. I take, I can take photos? Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. What? Wait, what? Why, why is he talking to me now? What's going on? Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. The heck? Okay. Uh, how do I take photos? <laughs> well, cool, I got a new quest. Um, take a photo of all these places. Mm, I wonder if there is anything else I want to do. No, I have so many quests that are in so many different areas. Yeah, like, look at that. Oh. I think I've been to a majority of these places, so this, this quest could probably not take so long. How about I go and work on this quest, take photos, and help Sheldon? Good old Sheldon. How do I get out of here, Sheldon? Here we go. All right. Actually, before we go to Sheldon, I did get a quest to talk to the NCR person. I don't know who, but it was one person here. Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. 
That's nice. This is the embassy. Here we go. Welcome to the NCR embassy. How can I help you? Lisa O'Malley. I'm looking for the ambassador. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Okay. Bye. Ma'am? I don't want to know about her. <laughs> it looks like you're pretty far in the game already. Yeah, I say I'd be I'm pretty far. I killed Benny. Killed Benny. It's kind of a big thing. Um, but I and I got the platinum chip. I got it back. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I haven't decided. I wanted to learn more about like the region area. Like the area the the different what families or tribes or whatever. Where the First heck? Recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. The heck is Crocker, man? So who's this? Heard you snuff that Benny guy. Good riddance. Guy was a scumbag. Yeah, he killed me. <laughs> Um, uh, tell me about yourself. Who is What have you guy? heard? Jake Irwin. I know people think I'm a little on the wild side, but I'm just trying to have fun, you know? Just because I happen to get into fights and like to pull pranks doesn't mean anything. Oh, I'm not familiar with this game. I don't know who Benny is. Okay, then don't worry about it. It's just a bad guy. Just a bad guy from the beginning of the game. Um, but I think I'm pretty, I, I would say I'm, I could, t I think I could technically end the game main story wise if i wanted to but i i don't think i will yet i'm just gonna go and keep walking around there's a lot of places i haven't explored yet do you know about what do you know about the ambassador he's a little stiff and stuffy doesn't leave the office that much always surrounds himself with papers and reports i've always wanted to play a prank on him but there's no way i could ever pull that off without getting in trouble from captain pappas pappas a prank you say <laughs> yeah i got a few ideas that i'm working on maybe i'll let you in on it once i have something Okay, goodbye. Ma'am. Wait, that kind of would be funny, but I don't even know this guy. Hobby almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Where the heck is this guy's office? Where's the guy's office? You said to... Oh, wait, maybe she said to your right. Oh, not the left. I went to her left. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Aha! This is an office. Help you? Wait, what's this? Philip Granger's final report? First recon's at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we got a chance to hold it. I know. What is this? With my term here coming to a close, I'm taking a moment to reflect on my accomplishments here. Sadly, there are few and far between. Politics between the families and Mr. House have made it incredibly difficult to deal with any of them. The Omertas are a group of sleazy lowlifes pretending to be something they aren't. The White Glove Society gives me the creeps. There's something strange going on with them. I'm not sure. I want to know what it is. We found out what it is. Oh, thanks, Bouncing. Um, and the chairmen are thugs that dress themselves up in fancy suits pretending to be cool. I don't like any of them, then. I'm surprised that they've lasted this long without killing each other, although it's probably due to Mr. House and his Securitrons. We have our work cut out for us here. I wish my term here was more fruitful than it was, but I'm glad to be returning to the NCR. Philip Granger. Well, that kind of gave me some insight into all the families. I would say that all of that's, like, super accurate. All right, this should be his office. There he is. Whoa, he has a picture of... Who's that? Oh. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. We got... He literally sought us out, so... We are here. Are the white goes to the camels? Yes! We did it. We just finished a quest where they did that. It's insane. That was a fun, that was kind of a fun side quest though. All right, I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is gonna happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen. And I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. You have my attention, go on. To the northeast is a settlement. 
The locals here call them boomers. Boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Okay. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. The in boomers? exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Um, I'll find them and talk to them. Much appreciated. I'll see. Once you've talked to them, Maybe. come back and let me know if they will help us. You love the boomers? Are they, are they all boomers <laughs> oh things that go boom oh maybe that's why they're called boomers <laughs> do they blow everything up um all right goodbye Good. all right well we got another class who is this person president aaron kimball oh okay all right well we found the ncr place that's nice Patrolling the Mojave almost Finally, like, seeing everything there is on the strip. Okay, so that's this area. That was Michelangelo's. Uh, is there any other areas to explore? And then that was the Vault 21 Hotel. I think that's it. There's nothing, there's nothing else. We, like, officially looked at all the places on the strip. Too bad there's not a... Like, we can't, like teleport to any places in the strip <laughs> okay well okay awesome well let's focus on um let's focus on this quest let's go get let's go get some pictures for sheldon i feel kind of bad for sheldon so i, I want to help him michelangelo wants pictures of famous signs around base we got to do novak's dinosaur thermometer so let's go do that Novak. It's easy to tell teleport. I've been to like I think all these places he's talking about. But how do I take a photo? Do I use Eddie maybe to take the photo? Eddie started talking to me all of a sudden, so I got really freaking confused. Uh I don't really know how this works. But this is the photo I need. <laughs> uh, does anybody know how to take a photo? Oh no, bouncing. I should have donated to your coffee instead. You would have gotten most out of it then. Noted for next time. Oh, I actually, I think... I think it's, I well, actually, I don't know. I think it's better. It's okay, Storm. You're fine. Don't worry. If this was most of a fantasy setting, I would have bet on the white glove people being vampires. You think so? I could see that. All right, how do I do this, though? How do I take a picture? <clears throat> <coughs> do I have to... <laughs> Do I have to like use like um a camera? Didn't he give me something? I think he gave me something. <clears throat> this. There we go. Oh, we just have to have it equipped. Is this a good photo? I don't know. Did it work? Oh, it did work. Okay. Perfect. It's a little awkward. Okay. All right. Dinosaur picture is done. All right. He also wanted me to take a picture of the Helios 1 sign. So, Helios 1 sign. We'll go there. <laughs> oh, is the game audio bugged? Okay. Hold on. I've never had to take photos before. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm gonna assume Spotify also sounds bad too. Um <laughs> Okay. Ring 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 
buggy I heard I say there's mods that help yeah I have a couple mods downloaded um and they're just mods that help prevent uh, crashes <laughs> what is it I'm a busy woman there we go am I doing this right okay I guess so all right what's another one um bison steve sign McCarran Airfield sign, and then the Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle one. Um, let's see. Prim? Prim had the buffalo one, right? Where? Buffalo... Ah, oh yeah, Bison, Bison Steve is what he wants, right? Yeah, oh, okay. Okay, we'll take a photo of Bison Steve. I haven't been to Prim in so long, holy cow. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, took a photo of Bison Steve. Now let's go to the airport. Take a photo of the airport. Call it, yeah, having, oh. oh. Yes, I leveled. This is perfect. Let's, let's increase my sneak because my sneak sucks. Should I just increase all of it? I think so. I think this is fine. Should have worked on it earlier, but whatever. Okay, uh, is this the photo that we need? McCarran Airfield sign. Is that, the, that's a sign, isn't it? I think so. Depending on how good I take the photo, do I get more experience? Sunset Sarsaparilla. Okay, let's go here and take the photo. I guess so. <laughs> I know, it looks like the sign to me. Okay, oh, and then this, this one? Okay, yeah. Maybe like right here. Perfect. All right, let's go return back to Michelangelo, AKA Sheldon. Give them all the photos. That's not so bad. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. It sounds really creepy in there. Wow, wait, this place looks so cool at night. Wait, I haven't seen what it looked like being at night here. <laughs> wow! Darn it, I really wanted to talk to that couple again about Heck Gunderson, darn it. I'm mad at myself for helping him, but... Oh, it was either that or his son was gonna get eaten, so... I don't know. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Who's this guy? Wish I could have seen what's inside the 38. Go to Sheldon. All right. Wait, you had the sunset sarsaparilla sign. Oh well. Wait, where is he? I forgot. Oh gosh darn it. Evening. There's Kate. She's working. Welcome back. Need anything? Bye. He's back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, he was back here last time. Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> Sheldon Weintraub's mail. Oh, we already saw that. Oh, wait. What's this? Upcoming billboard requirements. Mail message loaded. I 
I saw this one. Wait, how do I read the upcoming billboard requirements? Oh, we already saw the Sheldon and Sarah's mail to each other. All right, it's okay. All right, let's wake them up. Aha, the brave photographer returns. Good to see you. Oh, he didn't have the whole bottle. I mean, I guess that's true. <laughs> I have some fresh photo pictures for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what I need. Thank you, brave one. Here's some compensation for your work. Holy, he gave me 750 caps? I took all the pictures you wanted. There was some. There was something about a reward? You have earned it, my friend. Now Wait, I can what? finally unveil my masterpieces to the world. More? All thanks to you. Come visit me again sometime. Holy cow, he gave me... He gave me so many. What? What the heck? He gave me so many pieces. Or er, bottle caps. 750 and 500. Wow. Yeah, him and his sister are loaded. Woo. All right. Well, that was fun. That was cute little. That was a little cute quest. Hmm, talent pool. Oh, so there's a talent pool of someone out there, and there's a talent pool of somebody in Novak? Oh, okay, let me get out of here. Hold on, I need to go to Novak and finish this talent pool thing. I'll finish the talent pool quest. Who in Novak was... Who in Novak? I like how bright it is here. Okay, let's go to Novak and figure out somebody I can recruit to be on stage. Maybe that crazy guy? Where was that crazy guy? Maybe the crazy guy? Where was that crazy guy? Man, I haven't seen him in so long. Where's the crazy guy? Huh. I don't see him. Maybe I need to fall asleep and then I'll wake up and he'll be here. Assuming that's the person. There's the doctor and her bodyguards. Maybe I can find that couple that was talking about Het Gunderson. They said something about they had like their own ranch. So maybe I could find their ranch if I like went around. Okay, I'm gonna sleep in my queen size bed. Okay. All right. I don't think there was anybody else here. Let's see, what about this guy? Is this guy a performer? If it weren't for the water caravans, Novak would have turned to dust a long time no, ago. No, not quite. What about the guy that's at the gift shop? Does he want to work at the gift shop forever? Probably not. Let's see. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? <laughs> I killed Jenny May. I Come still haven't soon. told him that. <laughs> um, what about the guy? This guy. Manny. What's going on, man? No. How you doing? The whole quest with the wife, though, that was intense. Basically, his wife got kidnapped, kidnapped, right? By the lady that was working here, Jenny May. <laughs> It was, <laughs> it was crazy. All right, where? Oh, this guy. You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. Oh, dang it. Is this not the guy that I can recruit? I guess he's kind of crazy. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Okay, maybe. <laughs> um, shoot, who's the performer here? Are they over here? Do I have to follow that little marker? Am I getting closer? 
Are they in this build? Oh, are they... Are they in the hotel room? Is there somebody in the hotel? Maybe I just forgot who lived here. This was Manny's room. Hey, welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here. My yeah, engineering skills Chris. have been coming in handy too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling. Oh yeah, shoot, I forgot. This is where he ended up. Who lives here? Anybody in here? It says I'm, it says here. But maybe this is just the teleport place. This is Boone's room. You're back home, Boone! <laughs> How does it feel? Hmm. Do y'all remember this quest? Basically, there's this guy. Oh, there's What's new? Ranger Andy. There's this guy who wants to me to find talent, and I have to give people that I think have talent my business card, or his business card, and then they go and they make money at the tops. But I can't remember who lives here. That would be a business performer. It's been a while since I've played. Hmm. Ooh, who's this? Have you seen that tower? Oh, Your Daisy? travel's been going all right? Maybe her? No. What? Dang it, Daisy! Why aren't you a comedian? Boone, get out of the way! What about this guy? Oh, it's you again. What is it? Oh! Found him! Bruce Isaac. Aren't you the singer from New... Oh! I totally forgot about this guy. All right, here we go. Found him. Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. All right, we have one more person to find. All right, and that person is located north of... El Dorado Gas and Service. So, okay. Let's go. Wait, north. This way. I say, after we finish this quest, why don't we go and... Um, we could start heading to Jacob's town, which is right here. No, right here. We could start heading that way. Because eventually I want to get Rex as a companion. Let's see. Or maybe we can go to the boomers? I don't know. Oh, I don't think I have any of my weapons equipped, do I? Nope. Where's my sniper? There we go. Okay. Where do I have to keep going? It says a little bit closer. There's apparently somebody over here. <laughs> okay. Oh, this person? Did I ever talk to this person? Hello. Oh, he has a guitar. Our guys monorail back to work. Howdy, Lonesome lady. drifter. What's your story, stranger? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. 
I'm interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Montana Me and Ma way. didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Thanks, Grim. <laughs> okay, your father abandoned you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wondering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. Must have been hard growing up without a father. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Hmm, what will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. <laughs> sounds like you should move on and settle down, maybe. Let's do that. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Actually, Tommy Torini at the Tops is looking for musical acts if you're interested. Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. I'm giving you a real opportunity here. How about some compensation? I don't want to do that. Here, take his card. Tell him I sent you. Much obliged to you, friend. I know, his his mustache. Oh, there you go, man, it's just, just walking right over the flower, uh, fa flower, fire. Okay, let's go turn that quest in now. Since we have, he said that I would be earning money or something, we'll see. Depending on how well they do. So, let's head to the tops. To the tops. Forgetting that this is the tops. Look at all the junk that I left outside. Surprise, nobody. Hey, hey, it. baby doll! Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. Sure. Smooth. Oh, and a friend. Now that we got that. Goodbye. All right. So these are the chairmen. Where is the, oh, I guess we have to go to the hotel, or the, not the hotel, the, um, theater. Here we go. Oh, what is everybody doing? Whoa, look at him go. Get it. I need to talk to you. Why are you dancing? Our guys put the monorail back to work. Oh, here's Hadrian. Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for <laughs> you? Ran up there and started dancing. Fan. Goodbye. Yes, they're all here. Yeah, look. Or, well, I guess it's just Hadrian is here. Oh, and this guy. You again. You should meet my bookie. You have something in common. Every time I talk to you, I lose caps. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Geez, some people. Um, Tommy, can you stop dancing? I need to talk to you. <laughs> Nobody's watching anyways. <laughs> Should we heckle them? Maybe I just have to wait an hour. Man, it's still dancing? Hello. Okay, what about in three hours? Jeez, two of your men stopped dancing. They're tired, Tommy. Stop! 
Seven hours later. Let's see if he's still dancing. Our guys oh, finally. I got to hand it to you, baby. You did an 18 <laughs> carry job on this one. My schedule's so full, I couldn't put on new acts if I wanted to. Sir, you just put on an act. Let's talk about the acts I recruited. The cowboy act? Yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. Five percent of the cut comes to 166 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now. Wow. Unless it's right here. He made a lot of money then. Cool. All right, what about the next one? You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your five percent, baby. You enjoy that. Okay. Well, how much was that? Oh, 250 with Isaac? Okay. That comedian, you mean? Yeah. He was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your five percent. Okay, that was the night guy. 150. Not bad. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? <laughs> Take Adrian. it, Adrian. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your five percent. Wow. I made so much money off these guys. Nice. Goodbye. Ooh, I'm like. Hey, hey. That's good. Wait, how much money do I have now? I have 7,890 caps. <laughs> Our guys put the money That's a lot. <laughs> wow. That's a lot. Don't I need to learn more about Hold on. Oh, I guess... I guess these guys don't count. Freaking rich. Yeah, I know. I should probably go spend my money. I just keep taking money. I guess chairmen aren't an option when I deal with Mr. House. Inform Yasmin that you fixed the white glove society cannibalism problem. I can ignore that society. I don't know what I would want to do. That's if I want to take over New Vegas, though, and I still haven't decided if I want to. Hearing what he did to Vault 21, though, makes me kind of sad why he did that. All right. Um, let's go... Mm, let's go to the... Let's see. How far away is the boomers? Convince the boomers. Where are they? Right here? Wait, the boomers are... The boomers are inside the strip? Maybe they're in Freeside? around this area. Oh, okay. So they're probably in here. Maybe? How do I get... Found you. Oh, God. Uh, wait. Hold that thought. Let me get my gun out. Oh, crap. I don't have my gun. <laughs> oh, my... We're gonna hate when they take your weapons and you have to reassign everything. Oh, wait. No. They are... Far away. Oh my god, they're all the way over there? What? I thought they might have been like up here or something. <laughs> no! Alright, I'm gonna head around these little areas. Let's go to the gun runner area. Or I could start making my way to Jacob's town. Mm. Let's see, what should I do? Let me finish fixing this stuff first. My incinerator, and then my grenade launcher, whatever it is. Grenade rifle. Okay. 
All right, where is the gun runners? They're this way. Oh God, I think they're outside of, maybe I should go to here. Let's go to the east gate. Probably is easier that way. All right, gun runners. This way? They're not inside, are they? Maybe they- oh! It says right there, gun runners. Oh shoot, hold on, my thing's messed up. There we go. Oh shoot, we should do a big save, I haven't saved in a while. Saving! Alright. The gun runners. Isaac. I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Contreras sent me. McCarran needs a lot more guns and ammo. Shit, is he serious? A 25% increase in weapons is doable, but a 50% increase in ammunition is nuts. Just don't have the supplies on hand to meet that kind of demand for new weapons. I guess I forgot this quest. My speech is 74? I thought it was higher than that. Just give McCarran some used weapons. I mean, as long as they work, right? Hmm, I don't know. Never mind. Nope. I don't even know if I want to do that quite. I don't even know what that is. I forgot about what that was. Well, sir or madam, do you wish to purchase something? I am ready to process our transaction. Oh, they have a lot of guns. What is the best gun in the game, chat? <laughs> I have, I still, oh god, I don't want to look at all this. Um, never mind. It's fine. All right, do I want to head to the boomers or I think I want to head to, kind of want to head to vault 22 and see what that's all about. Maybe I can make my way and I can unlock all these places while I go that way. Let's do that. I'll save the boomers for another time. Well, let's go this way and unlock all of this. There we go. I have to go around. Feels like I have to go that way and around, so we'll go this way. Whee! Look at my top hat! <laughs> it looks so stupid. Come on, food! Wait! Hold on, there was one other thing I wanted to check. Oh, no. I still have Eddie's quest, but I don't really understand it. <clears throat> Is there anybody out here? Where is this place I'm going at? New Vegas Medical Clinic. Crimson Caravan Company. Okay. I think I had a quest for Crimson Caravan. We'll see. Alright, where is this medical place? Ooh, what is this? Oh. There we go. The medical clinic. New Vegas clinic. <laughs> Let's go in here. Hello. Clinic guard? Ooh, what's that? Oh. Um. Doctor Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Usanag. Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. What? Implants? What? What's I have that? several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. 
faster. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Cool. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Depends on how much they are. Uh, greater strength, make me more perceptive, increase my endurance, boost my charisma. Whoa, I didn't know you could do all of this here. Can you make me luckier? What is the subdermal implant? That would be the Nemean subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps. But the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. All right, I don't have, I don't have the caps. That's all right. Dang it. Uh, what about the regenerating one? That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is very expensive, however. What? 12,000? 12, Girl, why are you charging that much? What the heck? What about being perceptive? The optics enhancer, 4, as name suggests, gets attached that. directly to your optic nerve. Very nah. <laughs> I have reserved a small- Man, I thought I was rich, chat. That is, what I have is nothing. Very okay, well, she sells stuff if I need it. Do I need any more stim packs? How many do I have? I used a lot of stim packs when I was fighting. I have 11. Maybe I should buy a couple. Me like five more. Shoot, chat. I have 7,000 caps and I thought I was rich. <laughs> Clinic guard. That's cool that you can do implants, though. Who's this guy? All that wealth is wasted on the strip. There are people in Freeside who need food and medicine. Okay. All right. Well, if I want to get implants, this is the place to go. Alright, let's find the Mojave... Oh, no, no, the Crimson Caravan Company. Oh, right here. Perfect. I swear I had a quest for this, but I don't remember what quest it was. Probably an older one. There it is. Cass is drowning her sorrows at the Mojave Outpost. Her advice could work for the Crimson Caravan. Huh. I've never seen a robot like that before. I guess I just walk in. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh, somebody's coming. Hey there. Here's the Ringo. rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. <laughs> I forgot who this is, but thanks. Who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. Alice? You can find her over in the main office. Um, so what's next for you? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's Utah? a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. I don't remember this guy at all. Goodbye. Uh Thanks for the money. Good Springs. It must have been at the very beginning Morning. of the game then. All right, who do I talk to? Who's Alice? Which one is Al? Oh, Blake. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. I like his voice. McCarran needs a regular shipment of Brahmin meat and spices for the mess hall. Won't be a problem. We have plenty of spice traders working with us back home, and we could get meat from the local Brahmin ranchers. I guess I've, the I guess I've had several quests left. The bigger issue is To supply left. the camp with meat will cost some serious caps. Give them a deal on the price. You'll have the upper hand in, fu in future. More important negotiations. Bartering. McCarran is overstocked with water and fresh vegetables. Arrange for a two 
for one trade. Interesting. Hi, Matito. Yeah, it's a long time. Thanks for 110 months. How have you been? Have you been keeping safe with all the free, crazy, severe thunderstorms we've been having? I've never experienced, well, I probably have experienced, but I feel like, I feel like it's been crazy. I feel like constantly there's a severe thunderstorm going on. It's nuts. Karen has plenty of caps over Uh, let's do, let's do this. A two for one trade. That should work. We'll do a good. weighted exchange based on the going value of meat and vegetables. Water is invaluable in this dusty hole. Let McCarran know they should expect the first shipment in a week or so. Okay. I didn't know I needed to do that, but that's crazy. Yeah, the storms are insane. Yeah. Literally, I thought I woke up, thought we were in a tornado. Okay, goodbye. There you go, Blake. It was scary. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Janet. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. Okay, where's Alice? Thought you were, I thought she was Alice. Um, maybe in the house, I guess? You're not Alice, no. Oh, hey, this is the main office. This one makes sense that she's here. Here we go, Alice. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan you Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? I don't know. I'm looking for work, I guess. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. I'll take it. What do I need to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hilder. There we go. You can I find him it. somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Oh. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. You can depend on me. Wait, what do I have to do? Deliver the Crimson Caravan invoice to Dr. Hildern at Camp McCarran. Okay, I guess we can go there. But is there anybody else I can talk to Hello. here? Is there anything else to do? Probably not. Oh, the cow is stuck. Oh, never mind. Can I teleport out of here? Wait, why is it telling me to go over there? The doctor should be in here. I can't remember where the doctor is. So, good luck finding the doctor. Thanks, Becky. A single plank of fence fell off after all those tornado sirens <laughs> stopped. Just one? Wait, that's like really lucky, Petito, if it was only one. Unfortunately, my sister's fence totally fell down. Like, well, not the all of it, but, like, the a good chunk of it fell down, so that's frustrating. And then one of her whole, one of her trees got uprooted. Just uprooted, you know, because trees we won't go do quiet, that. But we <laughs> they... don't count on that. Perimeter's been quiet since you left. The fiends are running scared. I doubt they'll give us any more trouble, not for a long while. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, I guess I have to go inside here to talk to the... Let's see. Don't know where I'm heading. He's over here. Okay. No, I'm trying to put the light on. There we go. Oh my god, did nothing. Okay, let's find the doctor. And not the tree. I know, and it was a peach tree. Ah! Peen! Thanks for the five gifted subs. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my fairy family. Or if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for doing that, Pain. How are you doing today? Okay, so I think he... Well, it says the doctor's right there. But maybe he's... I don't know. Behind here, maybe? Is there a route? This is a concourse. Uh, maybe he's down, maybe he's down below. That's probably where he is. He's probably not up here. He's probably down below. I hope. 
Usually the doctors are over here. Oh no. Oh yes. That yes. Here we go. Not hey. Angela. This guy. There we go. Yes. Something else you needed? I have an invoice. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. I know. Was there anything else? Tito, they don't even know where the tree went either. <laughs> It just, they went outside and the tree was uprooted and <laughs> it was gone. Um, I guess tornadoes don't like peaches. <laughs> yes, goodbye. <laughs> the poor tree, man. Granted, it was a little, little one. Not like a full grown one. So maybe that's probably why it got uprooted. I'm not sure. <laughs> that was the easiest quest ever. Holy cow. All right, let's go back to Alice. I am having a great day. We were on front. We were on the Twitch front page earlier, and I was still. I'm still shocked by that. So that was cool. Okay, can I fast travel? Okay, good. But yeah, it's great. You're doing well. Back to the 14 grind for Dawn Trail. Sounds good. I have to do that too, Payne. Uh, hello. Hi. Are you there? Oh right. You can't respond. Listen. I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. Whoa, what's going on? I picked on? up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. What? Whoa! What? Whoa! Knight Lorenzo. Okay, let's go do that. That's cool. Knight Lorenzo. Alright, let's go talk to Alice and said we did it. <laughs> um, wait, where am I? Wait, this isn't the main office. Hey, where's the main office? Hello. Y'all need to have some signs or something. I always get conf Oh, I see where I am. Okay. I entered from this way. But yeah, where's the dang sun? <clears throat> My zucchini plants still haven't produced any zucchini, which I'm a little sad about. But I think it's totally understandable. One... Two, two, both of them technically got almost uprooted from the storm. Um, and every time I put them back in the dirt, they get uprooted again because another storm happened. So I can't win. Welcome back. Also, I they don't, the flowers that they produce, they never open. So I don't know how to, you know, make them make zucchini. I delivered the invoice, just as you asked. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Um, depends. Sure, maybe. As Let's much see. as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. Henry and finally, James. I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Huh. Ka! Hi, Lloyd! <laughs> Thanks for the 300 bits. Hi, how are you doing? They're having a fun time. Could bring them in when the storm season passes. Yeah, but then little bugs will come into my house and they're not welcome. Um, it's okay. I just need to, like, pack the dirt down I think a little bit more and then they'll be fine I hope I don't know if I want to accept these quests right now 
Like, or I don't want to get more information right now because I already have too many quests. Maybe I should have accepted those. But I have a lot. Return to Cass and see if you can get her to part with the title for Cassidy Caravan. Anyways, let's do this one. But where is the Brotherhood of Steel? Oh my, oh, they're here. Oh, let's go. What's wrong with the little bugs? I don't want them in my house. No alarm plus no deaths, Kylie stream. I know, it doesn't really uh, how work out. You, Wait, how do I? Wait, I go here? They want me to go here? I remember this place. Eddie, where do I go? He wanted me to go here. Find the patrol knight Lorenzo told you about. To let the Brotherhood of Steel examine Eddie. Okay, but... Is he in here? Oh, oh he's on the second floor. Okay, let's go to the second floor. This place was really fun. I liked this place. <laughs> this was a fun area. Valid facial pattern detected. Yes. Valid facial. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Russian? Is that Russian? I don't know Russian. I only know English. I'm lame. I wish I knew another language. I wish I was fluent in another... Oh, I can move. I wish I was fluent in another language, but I'm not. Okay, he's on the top floor. All right. Knight Lorenzo. What was the knight in the in the story called? What was his name? Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Oh, are you kidding? Invalid response. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is did alerted. I never, did I never have access for this part? I think I didn't. Darn it. Do I have a stealth boy? <laughs> I need to get in there, though. Darn it. I need to get up there. Alright, let's look. Do I have a stealth boy? I probably do. I do. Try talking to me now, punk! Okay, where? Find the patrol. Patrol mention is dead. Wait, what? Patrol Lorenzo mention is dead. Perhaps there is something on one of the corpses that may be useful. Wait, what? What corpse? Wait, when did he die? Was I not supposed to do this area yet? Maybe here? Oh no. I'm, uh, I'm in danger. Okay, ow. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Contact. Oh god! Can you please move? Thank you. Oh god. This isn't good. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, my health was so low. Oh! Good job. But where's the corpse thing that they're talking about? I'm so confused. When is there not a corpse in Vegas? Why was I attacked? I had a stealth boy on. The patrol Lorenzo mentioned is dead. I don't know what they're talking about. I did, hmm. I did this area not knowing what I was doing, so maybe Valid facial pattern detected. Maybe that's why. 
But where's the... Where's all the corpses? Do they mean, like, of the fiends? Obviously, something I'm not remembering. Look, this guy's dead. Jeez, he had three missiles on him. Oh, maybe here? I think it's the case of the... <laughs> this is, this is the classic case of I, I finished the area that I probably shouldn't have even started. And then now I'm lost because I did it with when I didn't need to do it. Oh god. I think that's what happened. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Okay, why don't we kill all these guys? Eat this. Yeah, eat it. Where'd he go? <laughs> Surprised these guys aren't fighting me. There we go. All right. Classic gamer mistake. I feel like it's so easy to make that mistake in this game. Okay, well. Let's see. The patrol have something on the corpses. Alright, well we're trying to find a corpse. This is the only corpse. Here's Isley, but I already looted it a long time ago. I need a science skill of a hundred. Okay, let's save before I try, maybe. I don't know if this is going to help me, though. Oops. Alright, science skill of a hundred. Maybe I can turn off this thing, at least. There you go. Alright. Shut up! Subterranean. Transmitters. Recuperating. <laughs> I suck. Okay, let's see if I can reset all of this. It got so dark outside, darn it. Oh, my allowance. Okay, what about infiltration? What about appreciation? <laughs> what about headquarters? Darn it. Don't mind the alarms, chat. I have everything under control. Everything's fine. I might need to reset this. Dang it. Try again. It is very hard for a reason. <laughs> uh. Conspirators. Oh my god, it worked! Nice. It just screamed. Disable robots. There we go. First try. I know, it's pretty lucky. Hmm. Hold on, what did he say? He said... 
Uh, two peers from Leonard. I have no interest in selling my portion of the company. We went over this um, with Poseidon. These companies deal in defense contracts. That isn't what we are about, and it isn't something that I'm willing to support. I'm sending back the package. I'm sure you have a fairly solid idea where I think you put it, or whatever. Uh, I've heard more from my contacts over at Robco that it sounds like they're already starting started buying some of our public shares. Oops. Yeah, this was the plasma rifle I remember them talking about. But I already got it. Or at least I, I think I got it. There you go. Disable the robots. Can you also disable the alarm, please? It's so annoying. I needed to do that a long time ago. Dang it, it's still going on. Okay, where is this body that they're talking about? It's gotta be here. Oh, right there. Oh, right here. How did I, how did I miss that? What? How did I miss, how did I, how did I miss that? Should I take the armor? Oh, I'm overweight now. But whoa, that's cool. It's power armor. Oh look, there's the guy. There was a password on one of the Brotherhood corpses. Perhaps that could be used to bring Eddie to Lorenzo. Cool. All right, so they want me to go back to Hidden Valley. Okay, all right, let's leave. Oh my God, let's leave. Let's get out of this crazy place. Hi there, my name is April Mortimer. I monitored a communication earlier between you and someone with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. Almost lost my sanity as well. Wait, what? I have to either... Okay, hold on. There was a password on one of the Brotherhood corpses. Perhaps that could be used to bring Eddie to Lorenzo. Yes. This, right? Mission code XV56. Temporary password. Lives to fight another day. Summary. Paladins, Matiz, and Lander. You are to survey the ruins at coordinates, blah, blah, blah. Search for the components we need and retrieve what you can. As it's Secondary objective, compile a list of additional items on this at the site for future retrieval. McNamara. Hold on, let's do, let's talk to him and do the keyword. Wait, how do I do that though? followers of the apocalypse though <laughs> I don't know if I want to take them to Eddie yeah they're giving me two options so let's go here hidden valley was the first one and then hmm. <laughs> okay let's get out of here the honking noise I'm 
cool that I finally was able to go back though and <laughs> do that computer. I remember I couldn't because it was way too high level. Okay, let's head down here. Hidden Valley. Eat this. What? Oh. Yeah, get the scorpions. Oh, I remember this place. There was nothing I could do here. Oh, <gasps> but not yet. Oh, I see. Ah, oh wait, not there. This way? This way. Thinking I have to go here. That scared me. They weren't here last time I went here. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. And over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. What? What? Let's talk this over. There's nothing to talk over. The heck? You can strip down and hand over your equipment, or you can die. Will you comply? Okay. I don't want to die. Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Why do I have to be naked? What the heck? I'm naked. Why'd they have to make me naked? How the hell did you get in here? Normally I would have already shot you, but I'm under orders to bring you to the Elder. Will you come peacefully? I appear to be lost. <laughs> uh, I'll speak to the Elder, lead the way. Okay. I'll take you to him. Follow me, closely, or you'll be shot. This is so, oh my God, they're so not, <laughs> they're not very nice. Come with me or you'll be be shot. Get naked or you'll be shot. Blink and you'll be shot. What was this? Still in the dark? Still in the dark. How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. I was just exploring the area and I noticed your patrol coming out of nowhere. You took an extreme right, risk here. in coming here. <laughs> My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? I don't do murder for hire. I never said the ranger had to be killed. Oh. And I wasn't giving you the option. I merely <laughs> asked if you understood. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. You know, if you were nice to about this it. Point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. What? Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. What are with these people? You'll find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. Wow. I have a collar on. That probably will make me explode if I don't listen. What is with, what is with this? I'm gonna put Vinny's suit on. I look cool. Look at me, chat. God, do I have to put these freaking back on again? Jeez. Wow, that went like, <laughs> from like one 
from a, like being nice and calm to like crazy freaking crazy people where's my stim pack Alright, so they want me to drive off the NCR that's up top? I guess. Jeez. Maybe I should have gone to the followers of the apocalypse. Probably wouldn't have been treated like this. Where's their NCR person? They said, but they said if I stray off, they're gonna blow my head off. But what? How do I know? How do I know what's too far away? <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. I don't know if I was gonna side with them. I just wanted to know what they had to say about Eddie. Is this thing gonna at least beep if I'm far, I'm far away from my target? Hopefully you saved. I did. Yeah, I know. Our sense of direction is not that great in the wasteland. <laughs> We're gonna die, chat. We're gonna die. Is this where I came from? Looks different. <laughs> Hi, Kissa! Thanks for the eight four seven years of co coziness and friendship. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks, Kiska. Okay, here maybe. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you point that gun at me, and I'll stick it up your butt. <laughs> I'm not a powder ganger. Exactly what powder gang or scum would say. <laughs> Any last words before I pull this trigger? I'm not a powder ganger! Relax, little lady. Just pulling your leg. What can I do for you? What? Who are you? Dobson's my name. I'm an NCR <laughs> ranger operating out of Camp McCarran, north of here. Reading man by birth, though. What are you doing here? Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working, and a safe house is no good without one. I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. So no one knows you're here? Standard practice. Rangers operate on our own most of the time, <laughs> and that's how we like it. Usually we call in our positions to McCarran to be relayed to other rangers but I can handle myself. I'm sure as hell not gonna lose any sleep on account of a goddamn broken down radio, but it will shorten my stay if I can't fix it. Seems like a bad location for a safe house. Oh, and in your expert opinion, why would that be? Powder gangers use these bunkers as hideouts once or twice a month. You oh, seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. I hope that was... I lied to him, but... But I dealed with the ranger. Ranger. There you go. Now the Brotherhood of Steel won't, uh, make me explode. Yippee! Alright, let's find their bunker now. Oh god, where was it? <laughs> was it down here? No. That's good. That was easy. I just had to lie to him. I feel bad for lying, but to be honest, I'd rather him not stay here. He'd probably get killed by the Brotherhood of Steel, so... Where the heck? I 
remember I came here once and that nothing happened. It's because I guess I had to trigger Eddie's quest. Oh, here. Peace. Am I gonna have to get naked again? Stand back from the door. The elder's eager to hear your report. How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? I kept my clothing. The ranger won't be a problem. He's gone. Gone? Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? I convinced him that staying here was more dangerous than moving on. Yes. You exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. Why did you ask? You keep his then? distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow <laughs> I you to come and worse. go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. Yes, there, thank you. That's better, I hope. I now hope. that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Jeez. Speak to Knight Lorenzo in Hidden Valley about Eddie. Who's Knight Lorenzo? Hello. I'm really scared of these guys. Actually, no I'm not. I have the power of quick save on my side. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Journal. Still nowhere from the missing patrols. I was beginning to get my hopes up that the elder was close to ending the lockdown when they were sent out, but now a few of our best men headed out around the same time as the patrols without my knowing about it. When I asked the elder, he said they were on an important mission. Too important to tell his chief of Security about something's up. Contact. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, it got me. But guess what? I read it. <laughs> Suckers. I read it. Can't do anything about it. Who are you? Put some clothes on. These are all beds. Get my nasty feet on your bed. Oh my god. These doors? Where is Lorenzo? Are you Lorenzo? Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. The outsider? I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, Linda. this is the place to come. Alright, Linda. She seems nice. You know where Lorenzo is? What is this? Oh god. Target practice? How big is this place? Oh. You're being watched. You must be the stranger <laughs> I've been hearing about. Sorry, being but I'm watched. strictly forbidden from offering our tech to outsiders like yourself. Besides, I'm a little busy right now. Okay. These people are not very nice to me. Those beds look so comfy. Yeah. Agreed. Oh. Turret. Are you Lorenzo? Are you Lorenzo? Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, but I'm a little busy here, if you'll excuse me. Initiate Stanton. What in here? Nope. 
Gosh darn it! Where's the elder guy? Are you Lorenzo? Apprentice yeah. Watkins. Shouldn't you be in school or something? Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Okay. Bye. Nice. This is the school. Now, who can tell me the primary components of gunpowder? Nobody's here. <laughs> Our former elder, Elijah, was obsessed with new technology. That's why we were in the first place. Where the heck is the elder thing? Maybe down here? What's all down here? Like a whole other area? Oh shoot, there is. Oh, Senior scribe shoe. Hello. Can I help you with something? Oh, this is the same lady. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, she's still, she looks familiar, but not the same enough. This place is kind of cool. Let's hack it, chat. Nobody's here to see me do this, so it's okay. on here. I think this is the same one as the doctor. Computer. Pounding? Breathe. Welcome Lorenzo. Displaying last three files. Oh, here we go. Journal entry 745. This is maddening. All of my research thus far points to a company called Poseidon Energy as having experimented far beyond the capabilities of our current power armor and weapons. It is possible they were behind the development of the equipment the Enclave used as well. Why then have we found numerous caches of military-grade equipment throughout the waste and nothing from this company? Hmm. I have just discovered something horrifying. If my projections are right, we must. But I shouldn't get ahead of myself. The Elder will know what to do. He must. The Elder has asked me to provide a list of possible locations for the components needed. Unfortunately, our reconnaissance of the area is lacking due to Elijah's, inconsi Eli Elijah's inconsistence that we concentrate all efforts on Helios. Ibsen and I have managed to retrieve some information about or information from the data store on sites potential interests, but they are most likely military and industrial locations. If only I knew if there were if there are other bunkers or even one of those old Robco vaults in the area. Uh... Is there anything else? Well, that was Lorenzo. Where the heck is he though? Are you Lorenzo? No. Hmm. It's gotta be up here. Here, let me see, where's the elder? The elder's gotta have, oh, there's, there's the elder. The elder's gotta have like the biggest room of all, right, chat? Always. Down here. 
right here. Oh, this is level two. <laughs> what in the world? How may I assist you? There's scribes, activate terminal, access data store, blah, 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 blah. reload. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Did it work? Hold on, I think I may have gone the wrong way. I don't know, I gotta go though. I am like tired. Oh geez. Oh, here we are. This way. Who the heck is the Elder? There he is, okay. All right, I'll stop here. <laughs> Next time tomorrow, when I play more, we'll, we'll, we'll pick back off where I left off with this guy. I don't really understand this quest, but it's for Eddie, so we'll just see. Obviously, Eddie has something to do with the Brotherhood of Steel. Maybe. I don't know. The fact that we could also go to the Followers of the Apocalypse is just suspicious. So we'll work on this quest, and then <laughs> I'll go back to my other plan, which I never did, but go around here and eventually get to Jacob's Town. <laughs> I love how I always get so distracted in this game.